okay, live in seven minutes 48 seconds. It's saying on there. Okay. Okay. Follow those greens there. It's going to through the S's. Oh no! Yes, he is. It's just a big turning circle, isn't it? Wow, it's quite wide on there. He's joining it just because he's, he's got a big long front end on him, hasn't he? Turn right straight down to uh, Time Minnow 5. I can see his greens are is it wait a second where's his greens yeah uh, is it is it there's a set of green set of reds and then a set of greens and then a Red. That's all the way down on the corner of of T five. There it is. There it is. There's his greens there. So great to see how the uh, ground operations work here in terms of the lighting, and uh, because it is pretty remarkable. This guy, I think, he's going to go quite some way down. But look at all the stop points, which all turn uh, from... Um, well, they just turn those off when you've got an exit point. So the next heavy that comes in, which will be probably... Uh, next heavy's got to be Air India, hasn't it? Hey, folks! <laughs> Let's give this a try, shall we? Hey! <laughs> How are you? How are you? Uh, wow, here we are. Uh, the last stream of uh, 2021. And I do hope it goes better than my golf. My last game of golf today in 2021. Jono, take note. Um, but um, yes, hello everybody. And a very warm welcome to uh, London Heathrow live from the Hyatt Place uh, with these amazing views over the apron. And normally... Um, when we're filming in the dark, it's it's sort of like at the end of a stream. But tonight we're going to go all the way through um, to midnight, and it's quite interesting because while, but while I was setting up, I was kind of noticing um, uh, how the taxiway lighting system works in terms of them following the greens. I know a lot of people are going to come on here and give us uh, all the information on that. Um, the, um, but I just showed you a little example of it down there. Um, right, so what we're going to do is we're going to do some shout outs to all the people that we've uh, worked with uh, throughout the year, all the wonderful people that we've got to meet, uh, the things that we've done, uh, the places we've been uh, with, of course, our, our wonderful members out there. Hello, everybody, all our wonderful members. Thank you so much for your support throughout 2021. Uh, and beyond that, um, lots and lots of you, um, thousands of you now who are who are who've been with us for so many years as well right from year old year dot uh, literally all five years ago or how long ago it was um so uh i'm gonna do a few shout outs i'm gonna uh speak to people i hope you're having a great time and uh 
being safe and all that. Uh, straight away we've got uh, Jordan Aviation is a returning member, but uh, we have got a lot of things to kind of get through. We're gonna do a few playouts as well, folks. Um, gonna catch all the airport action uh, when it comes in, but we're gonna do a couple of playouts about throughout the year. And uh, we're just um, gonna do some big shout outs. Um, first of all, um, before this one uh, touches down, which I think is gonna get, still got reds there on the exit point. So he might, uh, he might come in quite early, but the normally air, yeah, if this is a Dreamliner with Air India, it's a double flasher, single flasher, so uh, it would uh, signify that it is. But quickly, uh, we're gonna start the show off with uh, just saying uh, thank you to all the many, many hundreds of people who've been involved uh, throughout the year with Big Jet TV. Um, both, uh, both all of our members, of course, and all the people that we work with in the industry as well. Uh, to all the pilots, the air crew, um, these guys up here, folks, um, the, the, the folks that we're looking at right here, working throughout the night, of course, in shifts, uh, Heathrow, Nats, and uh, all the other uh, air traffic controllers around the world who are working throughout the new year. Um, don't worry, I'm not gonna, you're not gonna miss any landings and and uh, I'm just gonna get it any moment now. <laughs> uh, big shout out to the Heathrow police, uh, all the police force around Heathrow, and of course, uh, all the pol police forces and emergency services that are working uh, overnight tonight. Um, and uh, let's have a little look here. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of dodging between stuff. We good, Julie, everything good, you got, uh, Um, he's quite some way up here um, before the exit um, I've just seen these ones down here turn here I think that's his exit point where he's going to do a uh, oh no he's coming off early interesting okay well he's got two options then hasn't he I, I'm guessing it did seem like he came to a, a pretty quick stop so I'll make a left here just hope I'm pretty sure I mean I know that this mic is fully fully charged and uh, it's just we're down to one mic Jilly uh, one of the mics has uh, packed up <laughs> I'll just have to just, we, we just have to um, lip read won't they Some pretty big ones there. Oh, I always miss a man. Some over there. Oh no. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, okay. The other thing is that what we've got to do, folks, is um, and I'm, I'm sure a few of you guys, Chile, you can keep me informed on this one. But have we got? Um, have we got departures going out tonight that are night flights that are going to sort of cross? The midnight into new and go back to the day before if you know what i mean uh yeah go back back in time are there any departures like that are there any that are flying in that have uh, gone through two obviously they have gone through two through time zones let's just have a little look out to see and see what is inbound okay that looks interesting let's see Blimey. Hey, that doesn't make sense. Well, we've got an Emirates 380 that's, um, we've got an Emirates 380 that's uh, in uh, about 40 minutes out. So there we go. Uh, has he flown? No, he hasn't because he's, uh, he's behind us, isn't it? Are they behind us or are they, be yeah, they're behind. Uh, no, they're in front of us, aren't they? Out in Dubai, aren't they? They're in front of us about, four hours something like that i think 
Okay, so that's not one. We need we need a really long haul sort of like, or one that's going to fly out. Oh, well, it's, they've already left, haven't they? It's, it's anything that's going out, really. Anyway, um, so listen, hope you're doing well, folks. Oh. Don't stop, don't stop. Yeah, go on. Oh, something big going out, it's climbing. Where's he going? Is that DHL? DHL. DHL 767. Yeah. Oh, I hope that's not frightening Charchi because that's very close to the house. No. <laughs> Leave Telly on the uh, Honestly, yeah, I have done a couple of times. It's good fireworks, man. It's a good little display, that. Nice. Okay, what have we got? Is that something pushed back? So let's cr let's cross over to you wonderful people who have supported us throughout the year. Uh, Melanie Lester, Jeffrey Phillips got a new member. Uh, Jane uh, Urquhart, um, I think Jane Urquhart uh, is a new member. Well, welcome, James. WWMB Gaming Tech, Marianne Edwards, Theresa Tinworth, Aviation in 4K, Doug Marshburn, Paul Skilling, uh, HGC Hypefish 247, uh, David Edwards, uh, Liz Dixon. Kevin Franklin, Trevor Russell, Sailor Mike, Sarah Deal, um, Keith Codd, Holly P, Martin Smith, and Matt Matt Single engine start on those. Oh, we've got a little bit of a... Oh, here we go, Captain Sky Marshal, Jerry, any flights going US and Canada will work. Okay, so where is this, uh, what looks like a Virgin Dreamliner going to? Cheers. Um. Kevaders. Kev Aders is a returning member. Kev? Very warm welcome back. Okay, so let's just see if there's a way in here. It's quite a nice. Uh, Quite a nice purr, quite Pratt and Whitney-ish, isn't it? Okay, I think. Oh no! That looks like that might be. Is that is that Eddie Head? No, it can't. Be. Is it Eddie? Is it Eddie Head? It's Eddie Head. Looks like he's got a virgin. Is it Etihad? Going to Abu Dhabi. Or is it this Virgin Dreamliner which has got no information on it? Okay. 
Oh, I'm not seeing a great deal of... Uh, Thanks, Alan. Welcome back, Ian Goldsworth. Happy New Year, everybody. Anthony Kidd. Boot one! Andy Pete. Down Lawson. Kiss in the moon. So he's going to make, I think, a right hand turn into that taxiway heading up to 27 left departures. Just a quick line. Just thought for a second there that was uh, British Airways 350, uh, 350 going back to Sao Paulo in time to San Paulo, uh, 9.15. Going back in time, there we are, sorry. Uh, Marcus Repele, British Airways 350 going back in time uh, to Sao Paulo at 9.15. There we go. Keep an eye out for that one then. Um, 9.15, got a little bit of time. Keep us posted on that one, folks. Make sure I don't miss it. Wow, having to put it on slow mode. Thank you, folks, for so many people and your wonderful, wonderful emails and messages uh, throughout the year, um, right up to today, literally, having so many amazing messages from you guys. Um, certainly, you know, so humbled by the fact that you do it um, because um, you know we're we're just a, we're just a great family it's, it's I'm, we're just so lucky we're just so very very fortunate and I know I do harp on about it every now and then but um, but folks you know I, I have to I have to I have to make a point of it because uh, oh um, it's COVID test kits I think big load of that's the test kit express in it right there probably be another one in later I'd imagine uh, Luis Silvia Wood um, no it's definitely it's, it's difficult to keep up folks it is very difficult to keep up um, we have put slow mode on um, so let me just uh, do some more shout outs uh, hope you're listening folks um, uh, the Hilton Garden Inn, and I'm sure that uh, Chris here at uh, Hyatt Place will not mind me mentioning the other wonderful people that we work with uh, <coughs> here at London Heathrow. Um, and I've uh, and, and I have to say a big shout out to um, to to our good friends at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn at Hatton Cross, um, who we who we can't wait to be back with you guys really we're just waiting for that sort of like moment that uh, it, it really is all down to you know um, uh, 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 what's happening at any particular time and, uh, and and a lot of that is down to weather and departures and we just haven't had that nice clear day recently um, or or any time recently where we've had uh, climb climbing out departures from 09 right or arrivals on 27 left but it'll happen so a big shout out to um to our good friend richard um let's just have a scan down there nothing uh, nothing really happening down there we'll just um now you see he's got his uh he's gonna be got two stop points there 
Turn clay. Okay, we'll see what we've got in next. So yeah, I mean, uh, the, uh, 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 I'm, I, I'm, I'm imagining that the hardened of you sort of like um, uh, folks out there are going to be uh, understanding to my switching from. Uh, the airport action to me just to sort of like do a bit of face-to-face -face action with uh, you know a bit of personal stuff with all the people um, that, that, that we have in our lives at Big Jet TV um, mentioning of course uh, RL over at, Hatton, uh, at Hilton Garden Inn at Hatton Cross um, Chris right here uh, at the um, at the Hyatt Place uh, Heathrow this is something that uh, Jilly should queue this one up possibly uh, while well, we've got a couple of tiddlers, uh, the Hilton, uh, the Hyatt one, yeah, yeah. Um, and it was this year, it was this year that we, um, I think it was around about May time, was our first stream here from the Hyatt place. Maybe, a, I think it was a, I think it was about May time. But um, here's a little tiny piece that we put together. You ready to cue it, Jilly? Okay, here's a little tiny piece before this next one arrives. It's very short um, that we put together just for these guys here. And this kind of gives you the idea of the panoramic views that you get here from the Hyatt Place. And of course, you can head up here uh, as a guest of Hyatt Place to the Blue Sky Suite uh, if you're coming here under Big Jet TV's banner. Um, so run the VT G uh, GP and we'll get the next one in. So there you go, folks. Uh, thank you um, to uh, to the guys here at the Hyatt Place, and I have to say they're a great bunch of folks as well. Um, looks like a Boeing um, on approach. We've got a startup, a New Year's Eve startup. It's a triple seven by the sound of it. Sounds very triple seven-ish. This looks like a. Uh... What's this thing? Let's have a little look and see what this is. Virgin Dreamliner. There we go. So, follow the greens. <laughs> so it's quite a big, quick, rapid departure. You can see he's going to follow the greens there. <laughs> Get it wrong again. <laughs> oh, what's this going out? That sounds quite big. Oh, 
Oh, it's a tiddler. Nice though. Is that Malta? Or Swiss? Malta, isn't it? Is that Swiss or Malta? Flipping heck, me mince pies at in the night, man. Terrible. <laughs> I really do need to go to Specsavers again, don't I? <laughs> Quite tricky in the dark, man. It's all silhouette -y. So we'll go up to the end of that line up there. He's got three sets of uh, three sets of reds there. Maybe he'll turn left at whatever they are. I don't know which uh, taxi, what, what exit points they are. Just playing airports, really, aren't we? <laughs> it's cool, man. It? Well, it is uh, sort of like still a bit. Uh, Oh man, you guys, the messages, the messages are just, uh, are just awesome, man. They really are, and uh, there's so many there. There's so many, there's so many there. Thank you so much. Um, I will try. Has he just disappeared, that dreamliner there? Okay, anything big on approach? Let's just have a little look. Right, okay, just quickly shift over here. <laughs> to my ugly mug once again um, yeah so uh, wow you know the, the words of support are just phenomenal folks but forgive me I just got to get through these uh, these um, these uh, uh, shout outs and then we can jump on your comments and all kinds of stuff and we'll get involved in all of that but I just have to do this because I have to show my uh, uh, my appreciation to all these folks um, who we who we get involved with um, the courtyard Marriott just up the road and new position um, what a fantastic location uh, unfortunately it's gone back to being a quarantine hotel at the moment but we will be back there folks and um, like that with the Hyatt place we have a different perspective um, so now four locations uh, across Heathrow which is just fantastic um, and a big shout out to Simon I know probably won't be watching but uh, Simon at Speedbird Securities mate you're an absolute star and um, that's another of our locations folks uh, out there at the paddock um, got a bit do a big shout out I know he's not it's not going to be watching none of these guys are going to be watching <laughs> but I'm going to do it anyway uh, so maybe someone will say hey Terry uh, Jerry gave you a shout out but Terry from the airport pub mate you're a legend every time you pop your head around that door do you want a bacon butty mate it's like you're just the best mate always fantastically dressed is terry as well um so yeah manchester um another location that we'll be back to uh, very soon it is like i said to somebody who came up to me the other day when you're going to be back at manchester it was like well it's difficult because it is like we make our decisions very late in the day uh, maybe sometimes only on a friday um and of course don't forget rob and all the staff at the Runway Visitors Park up there as well at Manchester. What a fantastic place. Uh, by the way, did I say, uh, Terry, at the Airport Pub, uh, which is one of our fantastic locations. Um, I just think might have said Terry. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, listen, big shout out to J-Bone. If you're watching J-Bone in Chicago, out there in Chicago, thanks, mate, for everything you're doing. Uh, Mike in LAX as well. He's a very good friend of ours. Uh, great to see you earlier on this year as well. Uh, Gary uh, and Stephen in Toronto and friends in Toronto, all of our friends out there that we met this year when we went out with our members, uh, definitely going to be going back there and doing some, some more stuff with them. Um, yeah. Oh. Serious dude. Okay, folks, apparently, and I'm badly out of sync. Okay. Should we, is it, is it one second out? Is it badly five seconds out? Is it getting worse? Is it, okay. Okay, so if I go one, is that? <laughs> I don't know. Is it bad enough to do a restart, Jilly? 
Do you want to do a restart? Do what? Um, well, I'll show. Should I show it with me with me uh, without me lips moving? Huh? <laughs> We're going to reboot it, folks. Stand by. Ethiopian 350 going up. Okay, we've got to start up just now. Are we on? Are we on? Okay, folks. Um, yeah, well, they're sorry about it. Say then. Um, so, just quickly, uh, just back on it again. Um, uh, Valeria, if you're watching from Antonov and all the team at Antonov, uh, Chris and the team at Fract Cargo, you remember, we remember we did that fantastic piece with Fract Cargo. Um, Alten Milan Mil Malpensa with the AM124. What a great loading that was. And um, more stuff to come uh, from boat with, uh, with um, uh, Fract Cargo and also um, with uh, Antonov Airlines. Um, Valeria has said, we will find that time when, when everything, all the stars will align and we're able to bring the 225 uh, to you guys. And uh, I also want to do the, is it the AN22, the one with the with the props? Let me know, uh, because I, we want to do something with that. That's a crazy aeroplane, isn't it? Um, Cargo Logic, I know we, uh, have we done anything with Cargo Logic this year? But I know I've been in touch with them. Got what? <laughs> Okay, thank you. We've got an Emirates 380 on approach, folks. Don't worry, we will not miss that. Uh, looks like this next one that's coming in is an Airbus, and it's definitely big enough because this, this, this the, the greens are there. So this is going to be quite a good one. Um, all of our friends at Virgin Atlantic, folks, and uh, all the cabin crew, all the wonderful cabin crew, and all the pilots at, at, um, uh, at, at Virgin. Um, of course, we've got Gareth and Lee Butterfield who work for Virgin. Uh, we've got Zane, Carl, Mark, Carl, um, and all our great friends. Um, at, uh, at Virgin Atlantic, uh, Captain Chris, uh, uh, Captain Dave with BA, all those guys, and and, um, and Scotty Bateman. Oh man, oh man, that was a that was a that was a bit of an unfortunate one because that shot right there, as this aircraft is touching down, had some fireworks in the background. Nice, good touch. There. Could be loud. Then again. Is this virgin? He's, uh, he's going to get off there, is he? He's getting off there, yeah. Oh, is he a bit unsure? Millipede. I suspect that's Virgin because he's uh, got greens to the right. I'm 
jokers to the left. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Something big going out. Sounded like a triple seven. Oh, it is a triple, yeah. Sorry, it's just his wings were massively flexed. Nice shit! <laughs> See if I can get a. Um, there we go, there we go. Fireworks in the background and plane arriving. See if we can get that. No? Come on. I think they might be um, lighting up the, uh, the shard tonight. Is that China Eastern? What is that? Is China... Or is it... Sri Lankan, sorry man. Yes, it's Sri Lankan. <laughs> Say it again. Nice. Singapore slinger going out. So, so these guys going out on this Singapore triple now are going to miss New Year's here and celebrate it over there, aren't they? Uh, no, they'll celebrate it. Um, yes, they'll celebrate it over there, won't they? Because they have like six, seven hours uh, behind, uh, in front of us, aren't they? So, uh, no. No, they'll miss it. <laughs> Hold on a minute, let me get this right. <laughs> That's as bad as this with me geography, aren't I? They're going to Singapore. Singapore is seven hours ahead or something like that, isn't it? So that means that they'll fly through the night and it'll be New Year's Eve there and they'll get there in about, about five, six in the morning. I've just made all of that up. <laughs> how, how, how near to that was I right? Oh, is this, the, is this a 3 8? What's this? <laughs> got to find us. We've got to find slots for these, uh, for these playouts, Jilly. So that sounds rather nice. Yeah, I know, I know. Sounds like 757, that. Oh, hello. Three eighty, got him. I got him on approach. I got him on approach. Uh, I want to get that seven five though. He sounds lovely, doesn't he? Just want to make sure we don't uh, three eighty.
Our slinger is waiting here. He's waiting for us. Mark at the slinger. The mini slinger, if you want to call it that. Don't think it'd be very happy with you calling it the mini slinger. Because it's really a, it's a bother boy, isn't it? Greens all the way down to whatever, blah blah blah, etc. etc. Thank you very much. So we've been through all of that, then, haven't we? With uh, with our great friends and pilots, and if there's anyone I've missed, Jim, who I've spoken to recently. Um, Stuart Rawlings, that's it. Uh, Phil Marsh um, with Cathay Pacific. Um, hearing some terrible news today with Cathay Pacific and their cargo operation. We won't go into that. Let's try and not be negative about anything tonight. Let's just look, try and look on the bright side. So let's always look on the bright side of life. Do -do. Do -do, do -do, do -do. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's all be positive. But yes, if I've missed any of you pilots out there, who I've met, and, and cabin crew as well, who I've met on my travels. Oh, listen to this. It's unstable. It's unstable. Oh, nice. Oh, right there. You see what I was talking about the other day, folks, about taxiing across an airfield, like somewhere like New York, for instance, which has got vast, lots of run. Well, it's got not. I say it's got lots of runways, but it's got it's got big runways, lots of taxiways between it. And when you taxi out there in the dark, um, even on a small airfield, really, to be honest, it's quite daunting as a passenger um, because you're out there in the dark in the middle of nowhere, in some places, especially out in New York. Um, and where I was recently at Hamburg, believe it or not, was a was was seemed to be miles out, um, but it wasn't obviously. But uh, because you're out there in the in the darkness of the field, and all you can see are these runway, these taxi white way lights, they're, they're everywhere, and all these these um, these marshalling points, those those um, those signalling points, which is like Alpha One and uh, Charlie Two and all that kind of stuff. Turn left at this and that and the other follow the greens blah 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 which he's doing now he's making a left there but he's just waiting for that see so he's got those two um those two exit points which are uh so now he seems to be a little bit unsure about this to be honest with you <laughs> it's normally normally a lot quicker than that see it's gone to, it's gone to three reds now for the uh, for the taxiway for a gate to open up. I know there's another 380 that landed here uh, as I was setting up. <laughs> well, fair play, fair play. Listen, man, if you're tucked up in bed or if you're sitting at home... Oh! I bet it's a 320. It is... Oh, fair play to you, Darren, and fair play to everybody who's out there enjoying their New Year's Eve. Um, whether you are, uh, whether you're, um, whether you're on your own or uh, with the pets, with the kids, with the family, um, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having a great time and um, looking forward. And let's look, let's definitely look forward and not back on this one because uh, you know we've had some great times um, with Big Jet TV this year. We've been to a lot of places. Um, under the circumstances, uh, we've had our, we've had our, we've had our trials and tribulations, and um, we've made it through. The
the night. Uh, but we did make it, didn't we? We have made it, folks. Uh, and that's all with your help and cooperation and, and, and your wonderful support and your um, and your being there. That's what it's all about. It's like, like me right now. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps everything buzzing. I might, I might have a really amazing, enthusiastic attitude towards aviation, but I've also got uh, a love towards all you folks out there who, who sort of like feel the same way as me about seeing it and everything that I see is sort of like my eye is, is literally like wow look at that over there wow look at over there yeah. <laughs> very enthusiastic person uh, at the uh, at the at the um at the, at the viewing gallery you know look at that one over there look at that oh no, look at that you know <laughs> like shut up man shut up a bit over enthusiastic yeah. yeah but look at that <laughs> anyway um but uh we have done so much, folks. As you know, um, EMA, of course, uh, and Manchester as well, as we've mentioned, but East Midlands, uh, stuff we've done up there. And hello to all our friends up there in the East Midlands and who come and say hello to me. And to all those people who come and say hello to me, who've come and said hello to me throughout the year as well. It's funny, isn't it? Little ones always sound a bit growly. It's naughty little uh, Jack, Jack Russell, isn't he? Um, but, uh, but yeah, of course, don't forget, the military stuff that we've done, folks. Um, let's get this one in, Jilly. What's this one coming in now? Oh, oh, nice, nice. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. Hopefully, it doesn't matter if he comes off there, but this is interesting because oh, there's a, 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 this is an A300 inbound now. It's a freighter with DHL. When I was setting up, one came in here and you heard his, uh, you remember on the 747s when they, or sometimes when you see it, um, as, he's, as he's pulling off the runway, you hear his, uh, his flaps, um, but what's, it's, it's actually the electrically operated uh, slats at the front of the wing, I think, that make that noise, uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Um, so, um, that is what kind of happened with this uh, 300. Uh, so, I'm hoping that we'll get him coming off here and he'll kind of do the same thing. But a big shout out to uh, to all our friends uh, around the military operations as well. I know up at Meldon Hall, I was invited up there for the uh, for the new military, uh, for, for the base commander uh, of operations up there with the uh, uh, 100th Air Refueling Wing, uh, which is just fantastic. Hoping to do some more stuff with them. Uh, Coningsby, don't forget, uh, Lake and Heath. Uh, and we've got a great piece that we're going to play out to you after this 300 has landed. Uh, get ready if you like your uh, if you like your military stuff, folks. Um, check out. Let's just get this first. To the what? To the lampposts? <laughs> yeah, shout out to all the lampposts and the trucks and the trees and the bushes swaying in the wind. <laughs> Everywhere we go, there's always a lamppost, isn't it? I'm glad that people appreciate that a little bit more now about an example of what we had um, the other day at the Renaissance. Another great uh, place that we are at, folks. Did I mention the Renaissance? I don't think I did. I didn't, yeah, the Renaissance, ladies and gentlemen. That's one of the four fabulous locations that we have here at London Heathrow. And a big shout out to our good friends at the Renaissance. That sounds pretty big going out. 3.30? Yeah! 
that was Trent 700 power, man. Okay, folks. Okay, um, go and make a cup of tea. Go and uh, pour another um, uh, reasonably responsible <laughs> alcoholic beverage. Uh, or uh, turn up your volume, because if you like flying displays, this is one that we caught at Coningsby um, earlier on in the year. I think it was around about, was it March time? Something like that. Um, not long after the lockdowns. Um, this is the uh, uh, RAF Typhoon display uh, jet, which was, I believe, flown by uh, the, uh, the current um, a display pilot. And I'm sure you guys will remind me who that is. Um, but uh, this is something that was just kind of unexpected as is always happens on our shows you know you're always going to get that sort of like unexpected thing like wow what's this you know because we went up there to catch the um was it the was it the um the, the jack the tornado or the tornado wasn't it the tornado wasn't it the tornado and uh, that was fantastic but i think it was no it wasn't on this one though it was another one wasn't it <laughs> but we got this display folks and it it was this one and it was just so I was so lucky because we had overcast skies uh, which makes it easier when you're trying to sh film in this little tiny monitor that you're seeing here um, it's about that big and you're trying to uh, track this black dot uh, through the sky doing crazy maneuvers and all that kind of stuff it is very very tricky trust me folks um, but uh, enjoy it GP this is the RAF uh, Typhoon Display Jet. GP.
Unreal, man. Unreal. Oh, man. I know he can't hear me, but he needs a big round of applause, that fella. Anybody who missed the typhoon display this year, which thousands of people will have done. Wow, that was hardcore keeping up with that man, I'm telling you. How about that, folks? Wow, uh, what a, what a, I tell you what, I had to hold my breath uh, throughout that, um, that entire, well, not really, but like, through, through, 
carefully not very very um intense can't tell him this sorry mate can you just go back and do that bit again um right okay so i uh, hope you enjoyed that folks uh, a few more playouts to do as well um and that one right what have we got on approach what have we got on approach let's just have a look and see what we've got on approach i'm going to come to you guys in a in a minute folks i uh, just okay united 767 okay he's got the greens down here so uh might be a little uh, a little bit of uh who are and all that <laughs> okay who are <laughs> don't you mean reverses okay this should be nice this should be nice 767 oh yeah listen to that whistly prance How cool was that? You really hear those turbines working, man. Oh, what's that going up? Is that Oman Air? What's that? Air Lingus. Hey! What Air Lingus? A330? Is that an Air Lingus A330 going out? Hey, how good my how good's my eyesight every now and then? touchdown what we've got next it's another Boeing it's another Boeing what's this next Boeing GP 737 okay he'll get off a lot earlier I think listen to those engines purring man I mean, they're old school engines, but they're still going to be, uh, the PW4100 is going to be used on the new uh, UPS freighters, I think. KLM 737 touching down on Schiphol. Nice. Hey, this is very uh, miniature wonderlandish, isn't it? is isn't it? But we just haven't got a massive, great big grey curtain at the end of it. Nice. Very nice. Still got his reverses over there. Okay, don't forget, Jilly, we've got that uh, Virgin Jet going to San, is it Sao Paulo or? 9.15, wasn't it? Virgin Jet, someone mentioned. Is it 10.15? Oh, I thought it said 9 something or other. Oh, okay. Ooh, that sounds like a 350 startup. That sounds like a 350 startup. Or is it? That, that is that is definitely a 350. That's the next WB startup, man. That was I'm sure that was the next WB 350 startup. Have we got a BA350? Fiddy might, might get his number two start up in a second.
going out. Going out, going out. Yeah, got it. Grab for you, Jilly. There's your, uh, there's your um, thumbnail. Oh yeah, later it's gonna go off, isn't it? Of course it is. It's gonna go mental, man. Oh, no, it said it on the, it said it, it said it on the on the news that. Wow, look, I haven't seen them for a while. It said it was cancelled. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, wait till midnight, man. Don't use them all up now. It's got thousands of them, haven't they? If you're going to buy them, you'd buy a box for every hour, wouldn't you? Running up to it. Or, or at least. <laughs> I say it a bit. Wow, low climber for the Emirates A380. Right, should we do some more shout outs and say hellos and stuff like that? Uh, just very quickly, folks. I want to see if I can get through all of this as quickly as I can because what I want to do is come to you, um, the folks who are chatting at the moment. So hold off on your comments for the time being, folks, because, uh, I mean, also obviously talk amongst yourselves. Um, but uh, I've, I've got to get, I've got to rush through this lot. Um, so yes, we've mentioned, of course, Mildenhall, Lake and Heath, Colling, uh, Coningsby. And don't forget uh, the Willows campsite. Uh, big shout out to our friend Ian up at, uh, up at Mildenhall there at the Willows campsite. Uh, we've had a couple of great shows up there overlooking. Uh, he's got a little, um, a little plot. He's got a little plot of land. Okay, apparently the fireworks are on tonight, folks. Now, I'm just hoping that this building in front of me, I think it's far enough away, I'm definitely going to get it uh, in the distance there. But anyway, um, now, uh, just very, very quickly before the next one comes out, we've got a lot of time that we've got. It's only nine o'clock, folks. Uh, so we've got three hours to burn through here. Uh, so stay with us. Uh, we're just going to quickly jump across to, remember this, June the 13th. What happened on June the 13th, folks? And we were there. Uh, I'd just arrived back from, was it Zurich or something like that? Um, and uh, I couldn't go out because I hadn't, I'd, I'd come back and it was after, the, it was day two, I think, or something like that. And I had to wait for my results to come through, blah, blah, blah. Um, but we got our good friend, um, oh, blimey, O'Reilly. Oh, what was his name, Jilly? Oh. Uh, the, the the cameraman up on the Hilton Garden Inn, who who um, who with uh, Craig Craig, who's got an amazing son who plays golf. He's only like that big. He's is there something big going out there. Sounds something. Like, sounds big. <laughs> what string's that? I don't know what. What's he talking about? What are you talking about? Um, but um, where's, it, where's there a string then? Oh, that thing there. Is it? Um, but yes, um, Air Force One, folks. 
came to London Heathrow, remember the, um, the summit and all that kind of stuff. And uh, Air Force One uh, came in with all its uh, regalia with, um, with the 757, with, um, what was it, Special Lady or something like that? Um, forgive me for not knowing all the terminology tonight, folks. Um, lots to get through. Um, <laughs> what was her, her, the First Lady's? The First Lady's 757. Um, the 747, uh, beautiful old aeroplane as well, man. Beautiful old aeroplane was Air Force One. And all the helicopters coming over from Norfolk, um, all of that kind of stuff happened. Craig was there, I was in the house, um, sort of like semi-commentating on it, I think, can't remember. <laughs> but anyway, this is, uh, are you ready to roll it, Jilly? This is when Air Force One came to town, folks. Check this out.
Okay, there you go, folks. Uh, hey, uh, and a big thanks to Craig uh, Longman and his. Uh, and I um, hope you're doing well, Craig, and the boys well, and everything's well. Guys, I'd like you to do me one favour, um, if you can, because I cannot zoom in um, to see my direct westerly shot, um, which is bloody Nora. Look at that. That was going off just now. That's a pretty nice, I like that. Come on. Oh. Hey! <laughs> Always remember the uh, fireworks when I was a kid, when I used to go down to the Lindfield um, Bonfire Society. Um, back in the days before Elf and Safety and um, you'd have the um, the guys um, uh, uh, you'd have the um, bonfire society with their torches with paraffin sticks with you know like um, cloths all on fire and some fella dragging a big barrel of like um, live fire and all that <laughs> you just wouldn't see it these days man like bangers going off all over the gaff um, but yeah back in the day I remember always at the end of the firework display there used to be they are I'm sure they put a firework in a barrel or a drum or something like that and this thing went and it was like the it was a closing thing and a boom it's like Flipping, eh? And you'd always try, and like, I went loads of years, didn't I? And I, you'd always try and figure out when that's going to happen. But uh, it's almost like they caught everyone I've got. Anyway, you had to be there. So what I want to know, folks, is if you can look on Google Earth for me and look to my direct west and see whether I am left of that building there for the O for the for the uh, for the, the eye, the London eye. That's what we're looking for, is the London Eye, folks. Because um, there's a lot of, uh, obviously there's a lot of red lights out there um, from high rises uh, from um, and also from construction work as well. I'm just a little bit concerned <laughs> that it is uh, sort of like directly, uh, what's that the top of now? That's interesting. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm trying to get my bearings and I can't zoom in to Google Earth close enough. So I just wondered if you could tell me whether it is to my right or to my left. If you can give me feedback on that, don't do it just yet. Wait till I come to the comments, folks, because we've got a lot of stuff to get through. Just let me call Jilly back, stand by. <laughs> I think it's working. Okay, so we'll close that. I think it's working, Jilly. Everything seems to be working okay, doesn't it? Yeah, we'll close that. Um, so there we have it, folks. Uh, Air Force One, folks. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, no, it's a little tiddler going out. Right. So I just want to, I mean, I, I know I keep coming back to this, folks, but please, uh, you know, it's, it's something I very rarely do. Um, well, I don't do it uh, throughout the whole year. You won't see me this much in Tinder camera. Um, uh, it's literally at the beginning sometimes and at the end always to say uh, goodbye to everybody. But this one night, uh, there's a lot of stuff um, that we uh, that we got to get through. And I, I feel that I want to get through uh, on behalf of, of everybody here who's watching now as well to say thank you to all the people that have been involved with Big Jet TV over the year. Um, don't forget that we went to Stansted, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to uh, film the inaugural um, flight um, with uh, Play Airlines, uh, a new startup, um, a cheap um, flights company. <laughs> There's a name for it. <laughs> like low cost airline, there we go. <laughs> cheap flights company. Just make it up as you go along, mate. Why don't you just... <laughs> anyway.
No, I don't. I, I don't want to go to my left. I can't move to my left because it's a sodding great big um, hotel there. Uh, so I can I can move like ten feet to me left, but that's not going to make any difference. I don't think. If I have to move it, then I will. I will move it for the uh, for festivities. Um, but anyway, so play airlines. Wow, you remember the uh, you remember crew with their uh, with their groovy um, uh, trainers on and. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. Very good, very good to see Play Airlines also ordering more aircraft as well. I think they've got orders with, uh, or they're either leasing um, more 321s uh, for their uh, transatlantic stuff. They're really branching out those guys um, up in up in Iceland. So uh, good luck to them, and hopefully uh, be flying with them at some point in the future. Play Airlines, don't forget, folks. We were there uh, exclusively airside to catch uh, that aircraft, that, air, that that flight, and you can, of course, watch that on our channel uh, on YouTube, uh, Big Jet uh, TV. Uh, subscribe. Make sure you turn on the little notification uh, but bell to all, whatever, um, uh, just to make sure you don't miss any shows, folks. That's what it's all about. Um, now, don't forget also that we were airside with uh, Nivedita. And, um, you know, uh, kind of wanted to lo load this one up, Jilly, but I didn't have an edit ready for it, did I? I've got it ready for edit but we will be doing something with this with this with this even if it's very short uh, but you can look back in the archives you just do put uh, big jet tv is it uh, uh, farewell uh, captain nivadita jilly or is it fair it's it's, it's, it's big jet tv um, if you can if you can, i don't know you can just tell me which what what it is but um, yeah we, we can put the link up um, but uh, for later or something like that but um, it is, of course, something that we did with Nivedita. Uh, it was her last flight from Heathrow. Farewell, Nivedita, N-I-V-E-D-A-T-A, -A, uh, Nivedita, uh, D-E-T-A, sorry. Um, and uh, she was flying her last flight, uh, 787 Captain. Um, started on a uh, gliding when she was very, very young, uh, then went to the, uh, flew on the A3, hundreds i think uh maybe even the earlier variants with um with um all um uh all analog instruments on the a i think they were a300s um with uh air india and then moved up was the first ever uh um one of the first ever uh female captains with um the first female captain with air india and the second to fly the Dreamliner, or it was the other way round. Maybe it was the first to fly the Dreamliner, and the second um, uh, uh, captain to, to to fly with a uh, female captain to fly with Air India. But it was a great uh, honour to be with her airside, and we will uh, we will obviously put a piece together for her. We were airside right here at London Heathrow. Big thank you once again to Hal and all the guys at Heathrow Airport Limited. Um, you know everybody involved, man. Like we're talking about uh, the ground crews, the the the, the operation guys the workers all the workers who work here they're working here now ladies and gentlemen while we're standing here having a drink and a, and a laugh and all that they are working tirelessly uh, 24 7 365 here at London Heathrow um, so a big shout out to them uh, also don't forget show, folks if you didn't you didn't catch it of course uh, uh, first class and super class members were joining us in Lisbon with our friends Marco and Paolo uh, don't forget we also went to Frankfurt Zurich and Toulouse in August of this year. Uh, that's Frankfurt twice, I think. Um, Zurich and uh, Toronto, which was a uh, Toulouse. Sorry, my apologies. Um, in uh, in September, we had Dublin, and th th and that's three shows in that month as well. In in August, Frankfurt, Zurich, and Toulouse. Um, great shows in Toulouse. A lot of people enjoy those. But listen to this, folks. This is this is a great one. Um, Dublin, and this was in September. I think we got a little time, bit of time to play this one out, folks. This was a great one. Um, it, it, I mean, to be honest with you, just for the sake of next time we go to Skiathos, um, just become a member for the, just become upgrade your membership for one month uh, to four ninety nine, just for the sake of watching this one show because it, it was pretty intense. I've never, um, I've never been in a situation like this before. Uh, I've heard of a St. Martin where they're grabbing a rail like that, you know, and they're doing all the, all the, all the, uh, uh, you know, uh, the, 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 the fence surfing like, 
and all that kind of thing. Very, very dangerous doing that kind of thing. However, uh, where I was in Skiathos, the runway's edge is just there, man. There's a little fence with a load of stones and bushes and stuff like that in front of it. But opposite there, there's a great little cafe, man, that you can go to and, and have a sit down. They've got the... Uh, They've got the, oh, hello to all the guys out there uh, at Skiathos. I don't know, what, obviously not, but um, <laughs> fantastic bar there. Stays open very late. late. Uh, they've got a departures and arrivals board there. Uh, not a, a huge amount of traffic going in there, but when it does, it is amazing. And when they come out and they're taxiing out towards us, man, and you imagine this, if you're watching it, all you've got to do is stand there or be really strong and sort of like, you know, get your foot in right and all that. Because I tell you, uh, um, even, even the little CF-34, CFM-56 is just, are just unbelievable, man. Um, you've got to see it to put it, but do it very, very carefully, folks, because it's very, very dangerous. But I'm standing there and I'm handheld with the camera like this, and you just don't, it, it, when it happens, it's like, Flee! <laughs> you know, it is really, really intense. And of course, I can't go, oh no, I don't like it. I've got to hold it because you lot are watching it. It's like, <laughs> Like, watch it through this little monitor, like, with your eyes all like, it's just, just watch it, folks. Are you ready to run it, GP? This is funny. Skiathos, folks. Enjoy. Straight over the top, folks. serious oh my god shit my, just honestly I thought that honestly man that was just so low it was just ridiculous uh, that was far too low man oh my god <laughs> oh my god that was insane Really, really insane. Oh, here we go. Hold tight, hold tight. Oh, smell it. Oh, smell that. Oh my goodness me, he's off centre, he's off centre. Look at this. Like a Max Verstappen style start to cut off Hamilton at the first turn. Oh, this is going to be harsh, man. This is going to be harsh. I just got pelted by stones, man. <laughs> I know, man. I know, but that was that was that was pretty intense, man. That was pretty intense, man. Um, wow, man. How about that, folks? 
I tell you, I tell you, that, that was just the funniest time ever. Uh, wading in the water with the jellyfish and all that sort of thing. Um, and the little dog, the little dog, remember the little doggy? He was lovely, did do, do, do doggy. And a great place, stayed in a great place in Skiathos, man. I mean, we're talking, <laughs> literally, get to the airport, you don't have to get a cab. You come out of the airport, turn left, walk down the road, turn right, and then you're there. You're at the end of the runway. Um, and this great restaurant um, stroke um, a bar is just fantastic. It's got, over, it's, got, it's got a cover over it as well because they sometimes get rain out there. But yeah, it is just great. It's a great place to go, folks. And uh, we really enjoyed our time there. And that, again, was with our members, wasn't it? Um, it was absolutely fantastic, I have to say. Um, Skiathos, thank you. Uh, Dublin, of course, again. F uh, Frankfurt, Zurich, Toulouse, Lisbon. Uh, hello to Marco and Paolo. Marco, Paolo. Um, great friends out there in Lisbon, I have to say. Uh, it was a great time I was, uh, we had out there last time we were there. Hope everything's going well out there, Marco, because I know... Uh, you were setting up your um, you're setting up your store and all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll support you all the way we can. If that one, just give us a um, just give us a um, just give us a, a, a website address or whatever it is you want us to do, and we'll we'll, we'll back you on that one, guys. Um, we were back to Toulouse in November, folks. Don't forget for uh, the a for ATR. Um, of lots of folks, uh, big fans of uh, the ATR, and of course um, those guys celebrating their 40th anniversary this year and um, unfortunately we, we I, I don't think they kind of got it when I when I said listen man they've got their their 1600th delivery this will be an interesting one for old uh, Ben and TCC and all those guys um, uh, 1600th delivery of the ATR was with Air New Zealand I think it's happened um, I did say to them, guys, we've got to come out there, we've got to film it. But sometimes there's a little bit of breakdown in communications. It's like, whoa, we kind of got a little bit of time. And, you know, unfortunately, that, 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 that there's that little bit of a breakdown where, uh, where they don't maybe don't go to the client and say, listen, hey, how do you fancy us coming out and live streaming it? Uh, nine times out of ten, the client's going to be like, bloody hell, I mean, blimey, yeah, of course, of course. Uh, bring them out here and uh, we'd love to do that blah 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 but it didn't happen but anyway we're expecting to do more stuff with the guys at ATR uh, in the future uh, we went back to Frank Frankfurt in um, November um, that was crazy man flew on the A380 um, with British Airways when they were doing their uh, crew affiliation and refresher courses and um that was a great that was a great flight i did a little piece on that as well you might want to look back on that one uh, i think it's is this the best seat on an a380 or something like that right by the wing all the flaps going down and all that kind of stuff really good good video to watch that one folks um see that's my worry is that uh, directly west that what i want to know from the folks is that is the is the is the um is the eye to my northwest southwest or direct west you just have to look at the higher place on google earth and then just calculate it oh, okay okay oh cheeky 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 right okay i just see flashes of light going off over there and by the time i get to it it's finished so i turn it around and it's like nothing so uh i'm just gonna wait until there's like going on and then i'll uh <laughs> it's just like letting random ones off every now and then but um anyway we'll get to it we'll get to it um november the 8th gp did we bring this one up the, uh, the, the, the BA head-to-head, uh, -head, Virgin BA. Uh, did we did, 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 did we queue this one up? The Virgin BA 350 dual departure. Here we go then, folks. This is a good one. How about this? And this was tricky, and it was filmed right from this point here. So I'm looking directly across the two runways here with this very short area here as my vantage point in terms of dual aircraft taking off. This was the only time it's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen. It was, uh, the crazy thing was, we put, <laughs> as a promo, 
as a promo we put the two together of two different aircraft taking off at other times and all that uh, nobody said anything about like hold on a minute it's not the two planes that took off to bleed and blah blah. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't anything like that. It was like, wow, that's amazing. It was only the promo. Uh, and that got more views than the actual one itself. Uh, believe it or not, it's a crazy thing, isn't it? Uh, people just don't know. Look at it, look at it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Um, but <laughs> so anyway, we, uh, we had the uh, BA and Virgin 350s lined up um, on uh, runway 27 left and 27 right, uh, heading out to New York and I had this one point where I had to catch the two of them going out together. It was very short-lived but with the help of Virgin uh, along with, um, with um, uh, our camera which is uh, Panasonic VX1 by the way folks, um, we managed to capture this moment. Jelly can we run that quickly do you think? Virgin departure with BA. Okay Okay, here we go there, folks. And this was uh, November the 8th, and this is the return to transatlantic uh, traffic with BA and Virgin collaborating together to do simultaneous uh, departures out of 27 left, 27 right. And um, if anyone wants to know, Virgin <laughs> beat them, uh, beat BA by about eight minutes or something like that. Uh, but that's great, man. Great collaboration. Good to see Virgin and BA getting together um, after all those years with all that no way BA and all that sort of thing <laughs> um, and BA and they, they've all been always been at loggerheads haven't they but I think they're they're sort of like you know they, they were walking past each other and it should be like all right mate how's it going yeah 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 not bad not bad yeah yeah what's so what, what were you been up to then oh well you know it'd be a bit like that wouldn't it be like that you know, fair play man fair play it wouldn't, wouldn't be like in the past where it's like <laughs> anyway, so here we are, Virgin British Airways A350 uh, departing simultaneously, 27 left and right, and uh, this is November the 8th, folks, so could you be run VT? Oh, it's a big one going off, it's a big one going off, can we stop? No? Oh, it stopped, it stopped, it stopped, it stopped. Okay, run VT, God's sake. Hey folks, good morning and a very warm welcome. Uh, waking up here in the UK to a historic day. Virgin Atlantic and uh, British Airways are uh, going to be flying out as the borders of the US open. We've got Gareth with all the guys down at Terminal 3 uh, looking after all the passengers who are boarding. These are your flight crew who uh, put out a little message to us um, earlier on and also right after that uh, to our wonderful cabin crew who um, who are such a great cool bunch of people. I've got to say, uh, you got to fly with Virgin if you want to be cool. Good morning uh, everyone from Big Jet TV. Uh, we're the crew operating the uh, the Virgin 3 Mike to New York for the parallel takeoff runway uh, departures with Speedbird 1. We're just about to head off to the aeroplane. Our plan is complete and um, looking forward to the flight. Thanks, chaps. Hello, everyone at Big Jet TV. Here she comes now, BA1 is taxiing, ladies and gentlemen. Both Virgin and British Airways using the A350-1000 Super Twin, Rolls-Royce British built Trent XWB engine, and also uh, British built wings. He needs to be positioned dead center. Speedbird 1, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff, surface wind is 220 degrees at 4 knots, standby for roll command. Clear for takeoff, 27 right, standing by for roll command, speedbird 1. Virgin 3 November, runway 27 left, clear for takeoff, the surface wind 220 degrees, 4 knots, standby for roll command. Clear for takeoff, 27 left, and uh, standby for roll, Virgin 3. Virgin 
three November three two one now. Uber one three two one now. You can go and have a cup of tea now. Thank you once again. I really have to say a big thank you to Gareth at Virgin Atlantic uh, and also to, um, to all of the crews and uh, the flight crew especially for doing that little piece for us. We really appreciate it. Thank you for everybody for doing everything. Go on, son. Yeah. Who's that? Four's live then, man. Oh, Thor just did that big one over there. Oh, and the start up, man. Oh, I thought it'd be live for about a minute and a half or something. No. <sighs> it's like it's the only start up that we're ever going to get and the only set of fireworks we're ever going to get. It was just great, man. It was just... That that engine that you can hear now, whirring away that GE90 that's just fired up. Oh, we've got an, we've got an approaching aeroplane. We've got an approaching aeroplane. Over. Uh, what else did we do? Um, oh, did you like that? What about that, folks? Uh, the uh, tr th That was just great, wasn't it? Eh? Oh, that was fantastic. Egypt Air. Ooh, that's a good question. We've seen the 737 and the 777 and the 330. 320 Neo. So behind this BA. Okay, interesting. Egypt Air 320 Neo for all you uh, av geeks out there, folks. I, I get frantically now. Ben's on his keyboard. Oh, when time's last? When is it? When, is, when did it do it? It's, it's, when was it manufactured? When it was delivered out to Toulouse? When did it come to Toulouse? When it went to Egypt? This is the second time it's been here. <laughs> Classic. Um, hey, what another one we did, and we did this for uh, we did this for free view as well because I wanted to show our free view audience. He's just throwing my bottles out. He's just throwing me bottles out. Be a bit quieter, please, fella. Don't want everyone hearing. <laughs> Put a bit of newspaper over it. <laughs> um, yeah, Miniature Wonderland. Wow, what a great place. Oh, and all the hassles that we had. Oh, my God, that was just a nightmare, wasn't it, Hamburg? Beautiful city, man. Beautiful city. You've got to go there. But also, if you do go there, make sure you go to Miniature Wonderland, folks. It is just the most craziest. In fact, it's just like this. <laughs> it's just like this. Every 10 minutes, it goes dark. Um, did we queue that up, Jilly, or not? Because I haven't done one for this one. Oh, there's another one, isn't there? But anyway. Yes, yes. Now, um... Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to get this. We're going to get this uh, this Egypt Air 320 Neo. Um, so I'm just going to fill for a little bit longer. Um, let me just have a little look here. We've got all of that. We're nearly there, folks. We're nearly there. We're nearly at the end of all the thank you, thank you, thank yous. And of course, um, 
Oh, no, no, I, I do say it, and you'll back me up on this, I do say it. What? Oh, 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 oh. What, going out, yeah? It's a big load of smoke over there, man. That must be from a very large firework. <laughs> Look here. It's like Dracula's flipping like... <laughs> Something's starting up. That's a big plume of smoke in it. That's definitely a big um, fireworks display. It's been going on there. Man. I don't know if you can see that as clearly as what I can. Right, can I spot anything that's. Um, Ooh. Oh, mate, that's big power, that is. Oh, I'll look at this. Okay, okay. We're waiting for you. We're all waiting. Wow, full speed, man. Free fitty. That's our flag carrier, folks. Of course, uh, Happy New Year to anybody who might be watching. In. Watching? In? <laughs> happy New Year to anybody who might be watching from. Um, from out in the Far East, you know, all the way down in uh, Australia and uh, on New Zealand and all that kind of stuff. Um, a very happy new year to you folks. Um, let's be positive and look forward to the future. Okay, this is a 320 Neo with, uh, wait a minute. Greens. She's got greens here, but I think she's probably going to come off there, I'd imagine. Because this thing can stop on a dime. See how bright and intense those, uh, those new... Uh, LED style lights are on the uh, on the new some of the some of the um, older jets being retrofitted with those um, strobes now. Nice Egypt Air 320 Neo. Nice and shiny, that, isn't it? Is that a new plane? New hero plane? folks okay what have we got what have we got uh 9 50 uh two hours and 10 minutes to go ladies and gentlemen um so i think we've got one more well two more that we're gonna do um i think we've kind of said I know there's going to be a, a ton of people that I've left out for, for the thanks to. Um, but, uh, but at the end of all of this, folks, I've got to say um, a massive, massive thank you to Jilly, 
of course, uh, for all of her support and uh, amazing brain power. It's like flipping, eh? Like, how did you figure that one out? Um, but yeah, 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 just um, amazing. I'm like, I'm like, I can be sort of like in LA going, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's okay, it's fine, it's done. Uh, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, massive thank you to Gillian. You know, you guys know throughout, uh, from having listened to Big Jet TV for so long now, uh, how, how valuable an asset she is to Big Jet TV. The foundations of the electronics era. Um, good as the only thing that I can get is a fax. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, um, so yes, uh, but this last little thing, folks, and of course, uh, the biggest part of this whole thing that we have is you right there who are watching us right now, our wonderful, amazing uh, members, uh, supporters, shareholders. Um, uh, 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 you, you are it. You are Big Jet TV. Um, I know you say thanks to us, but we say thanks to you back. Uh, you are. You are. It's like that whole sort of like, you know, um, thing going on. Um, family, it's, it's like that, isn't it? I mean, honestly, um, you know, I've, I'm out here, I've, I'm, you know, I've, I've done this before and it, it is the best time for me. I'd much rather sort of like be here doing what I'm doing with you than standing in a bar sort of like, oh, right, mate, yeah, how's it going and all that, you know, because by now you're getting a little bit that way, aren't you? Um, and th those days are gone. They're gone. Um, uh, and 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 I'm I, I mean I just I'm just uh, totally 100% committed to you, uh, you right there. And thank you. I really do appreciate your your support. And Jilly does as well. Um, we are going to do one last play out, folks. Well, sorry, I did say I did say it a couple of minutes ago too. I went two like that, didn't I? There are two more play outs. Let's do this one first. Um, and we're going back to to military stuff, folks. Um, and we got the. Before anybody says, um, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, oh, oh, you might get copyright on this, you know, oh, have you got permission to play this? Oh, la la la, which you probably will, and understandably so. Um, ironically enough, this is one of them Simon moments. <laughs> that Simon uh, blagged completely. Fair play to you, mate, you lying little git. Um, uh, that that if we, we got the authority to use this track. So that's why we've turned the monetization off, folks. And anyway, it's New Year's Eve. We don't want to talk about all of that kind of stuff. Uh, well, no, no, you should, man. You should, definitely, definitely, definitely. Because... It... Okay. <laughs> See how I've got an ad when it came on when I put it on. Okay. Okay, it's off. Something winding up. Let's just grab that quickly. It's a natural thing, isn't it? That sky looks crazy, doesn't it? Look at that. It's like a giant TV, isn't it? <laughs> wow. Qatar, triple. Light. Yeah. Look at those wings flex, man. I can't see the wings, you daft bugger. Well, just pretend. <laughs> it's gonna hit the cloud, maybe a little bit of uh, light pinging off the cloud. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Um, oh yeah, that's, it's me, isn't it? <laughs> So, so, I don't normally do this, so uh, you know I'm, I'm glad you're uh, you're you're, um, you're you're being very patient. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, this one we're going to play out now, folks. Uh, crank this one up, folks. Um, I'm, I'm sure the uh, I'm sure the neighbours will be kind of okay with it. Oh, it's a bus. I think yeah. Um, uh, 
Yeah, it's a t- I've, I'm, I, I want to film the fireworks, but there's just millions of them going off all around here. Uh, at anyway, here we go, folks. Uh, this is Lake and Heath, RAF Lake and Heath, folks. If you've never seen um, the Lake and Heath shows that we do, um, it is absolutely intense. It goes intense, and then it goes like that, and then there's a little bit. It's just uh, us talking and chatting and all that sort of stuff while they go out on their exercises, and then they come back, and they do all their fly pass, and they do all their just stuff. But this one is just a, an example of, uh, of a typical sort of like... Um, uh, exercise at Lake RAF Lake and Heath with the 48th, um, the, the, the a 48th fighter wing. Um, a fantastic place to visit if you ever get the opportunity, folks. Head to Lake and Heath, there is an official um, uh, a, a, a visitor's area there, um, which is uh, put in by the MOD and everything. It's, it's, it's fully official. You can go in there, jazz hands. Uh, you can go in there and do um, and do a park, and, and then there's a burger guy there as well. Same as it is is up at Coningsby as well. Um, we're so very fortunate here in the UK to have a, a, such a good support for our uh, our um, aviation fan enthusiast uh, spotter community, um, and uh, we're so very fortunate. Hello to the fella. What's his name? What's his name up at uh, up at Coningsby? The Burger Man. Um, you know who I'm talking about. Anyway, um, a big shout out to you, my friend, and all the folks up at Coningsby as well. We also know some people up at Lake and Heath as well and Mildenhall. But this is a really good one, folks. This gives you. A, this is flat out. Um, this is absolutely flat out from the get go. So make sure you crank it up if you like a bit of ACDC. Uh, enjoy it. This is Lake and Heath um, with the uh, F-15 Eagle Strike Force. Play it, Jilly. Here we go. Longer mission.
keep an eye on that one. What's this touching down, GP? What's this touching down? <laughs> oh, here we go. Come on, fireworks behind it. Good looking in the dark, aren't they, Jets? Benny and the Jets do, do, it, 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 do, do. Oh, that was a big lot going up there. Oh. I kind of want to get that rotate shot with the fireworks in the background. Yeah! I think the geezer on the left's got a little few more quid than the geezer on the right. <laughs> oh, I bought mine from Marks and Spencer's, don't you know? Well, that's what you get for $3.99 at Lidl. Ah, but mine go longer, you see. By all of three seconds. Okay. <laughs> so, here we are. Here we are! Air France uh, Dreamliner 
inaugural service, London Heathrow. Remember that? Remember that? Back in the good old days. But these are the good days, aren't they? Really? Let's be honest. Um, it just, it just, it just revolves around and round and round. It just keeps going, doesn't it? This whole thing that we have together um, in terms of big jet tv it's not like you know well that's it then isn't it really it's the end of the year see you then bye thanks <laughs> it's um it just rolls on doesn't it uh, tomorrow is the first uh, we'll be back live on the, on on sunday the second um and then uh we are crossing our fingers and everything else folks hoping hoping that we're going to be able to make it out to miami but listen uh Whatever happens, it has to happen for a reason. And if it means that we have to delay uh, going to Miami for, for legitimate reasons with, with the whole crisis that's evolving around the flipping world, um, then we have to do it. You know you know the way it is, and I know that we all support each other in that, in that, whole, um, in that whole issue. So um, it is what it is. But um, listen, there's a lot of folks uh, who've joined tonight. Um, who who are new members and a big shout out to, uh, to to all of you folks who've joined tonight and I'm sorry I've missed you I'm now just coming to your comments we're going to keep uh, um, uh, shooting stuff um, that's Sri Lankan 330s should be going out any moment now I'll listen out for its engines and then we'll catch that going out oh Excuse me a minute. I would thoroughly recommend not eating two bounties on the bounce, folks. Because if you want to talk to people at the same time finding bits of coconut in your teeth. Oh, listen to this. Trent Sevens. <laughs> the shot we got the shot did you see that we just got the shot oh yeah okay okay so do a screen thing in jig on that Jilly. you know your uh, time stamp on that bit there uh, <laughs> fantastic man that's the shot we're looking for a big load of new people sign up today uh, Gaz the dude uh, 20 new members wow man okay if you're a new member coming to say hello now folks uh, Peter Pryor TCC Mariana <coughs> excuse me it's that bleeding um... <laughs> it's that bounty again isn't it John Collier, uh, Gaz the Dude, love this song. What song's that? Am I, am I missing something? Uh, John Arnold, uh, the Bootle Lad, Catherine. Oh, is my? It's oh man, is this something to do with my? Look, I can't. What, me, um, my, 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 it's going all funny. My, my, my comments, Jelly. My comments are going all funny. What's going on there? Okay, I'll just quickly read it. If, Harry Toolboys, Kenneth Wilson, Terry G, they're just going Oh my goodness. <laughs> Guys, slow down! Pull back on the throttles. I 
can't read it. I can't read it. It's too fast. Melody, you have great audio. New series of ice. No. <laughs> Chicky, John, Sarah, John, Cian Office, James Doink, Cat Weasel, Kelvin Grant. I think it's slowing down a bit now. Thank <laughs> all for that. Trevor Lyon, um, Dora Gerber. Oh no, it's gone back crazy again. Uh, Catherine Burkett, Teenager in Sack. Oh, flipping it. This is nuts, isn't it? <laughs> wow, you guys. You're crazy, aren't you? Um, but you're all uh, you're all happy folk, aren't you? Uh, Kevin B's got a cuppa and a Twix. Uh, I've still got a Mars bar and a Snickers in that box right there um, because I thought I might be getting a bit peckish, peckish, and I mean how much is jelly, folks? Uh, what's this coming in now? Uh, Paul Henry, thank you very much indeed. Uh, Richard Mortara, thank you. Chris, Trisha Guy, um, thank you, folks, for all your wonderful, uh, wonderful comments. Uh, Hodgie, uh, thank you for all the great shows. Ian Morrison, Hammy Inc., uh, GN Man, we always wonder if it is Gary Newman. We don't think it is, uh, but sometimes we do think it is. <laughs> but it would be great if he is uh, there right now because uh, we know that he's an aviation fanatic. Is uh, Gary Newman, Teenager in Sack, Ian Morrison, Cat Weasel, Rab H, um, Catherine Burkett. Um, so, where are we? Uh, Reese, Speak Out Pam, uh, wow. Uh, Kev Parker, it's just so many of you folks. Uh, Stacey Fenton, uh, Russ CT, Disney, uh, Disney Day 44, loving this. I'm alone, but not really alone with this community. That is it. They I found the comment that I was looking for. Uh, that is the sort of thing that is just amazing to hear, folks. Um, that you are not alone. You will never be alone, folks. We have a great community here. I know a lot of people sit in the sidelines. We've had so many people um, uh, 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 sending us messages to say, you know, I, I don't, I don't comment, but um, I, I, I'm, I'm really grateful for what you do and. and, and, and all that kind of stuff and but it's not <laughs> that sounds like a triple seven that sounds like a triple seven That's him, man. That's him. Heading east. When I was talking earlier on, by the way, I was talking west when I just I was going on and on and on about, oh, you need to let me know if I'm west or northwest or north, south, north, south, north, south. So, no, sorry, sorry, sorry. West, south, west. It's like. <laughs> never eat shredded wheat. <laughs> Why you never? I mean, I've only been doing it for six years, right? North, east, south, west. I mean, how easy is it, you know? So, only just now have we just figured out that. Um, sorry, folks, if I confused you earlier on. That is east. <laughs> Not west. That's west. <laughs> oh dear, oh dearie me. Um, but what fun we have. Oh, 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 flip it in. Hold on a minute. What's that one? That's an interesting one. Look at that. I like that. I like that. Oh, that's very Star Wars-y, that. Yeah. Is that it? You done? I think that's it. That was pretty cool. I like that. I think that was maybe a ghost firework. Uh, in a 
funny sort of way that looked like the back end of a jumbo sitting over there at the throat terminal and it looked like a KLM one as well but maybe it's just something to do with me mince pies I don't know something landing Jess Phillips is a new member. Welcome, Jess. Welcome to everybody who's a new member. Uh, Bob, Bob M. Now that is north that I just filmed. Yes, indeed. Uh, and Cornwall is to the west. Um, and Happy New Year from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, Happy New Year, Scott. Already celebrating January the 1st. Uh, good to see you here. DJ Silver Surfer Tadpoles. Yeah. Helen Clapp, uh, Joe Thompson, Rab H. Good day to everybody. Hope you're doing well. Looks like Tadpoles, Liz, Liz Dixon. Uh, that was uh, probably the most imaginative firework display, even though it was very, very short, um, but new, new in style, I think. Um, Happy New Year, Richard Mortara, uh, Neil Osborne, uh, Sandy Humby, Owen Merrick, thank you very much indeed. Um, a Marcus Repelay, I kind of like what you're saying there, uh, Owen Merrick, I won't repeat it, but it looks pretty cool. I, I think I know what you're saying there, and it does look, I kind of wanted to say it myself, but I couldn't. Um, He's going to be in there somewhere, isn't he then? Virgin Dreamliner headed to Lahore, which is going to cross the timeline. Okay, going to Lahore, is he? Uh, spoon salesman, eh? I, I'm I'm sorry. Balloons. <laughs> um. <laughs> Birds tweeting. What's going on? Does it? Did you hear that? Oh yeah. There's no fireworks going on around here though. No reason why they should be um, uh, freaked out over here. Maybe it's me. Maybe it's me keeping them up. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> She's tweeting over there. Shut up. I forgot I have one of the birds up. <laughs> oh, that'll make a change, won't it? Different things wake me up enough in the morning. <laughs> Yeah! Birds are waking up. They're too early, man. Go back to sleep. Oh. <laughs> Can you hear them, though? Can you hear them? Sparrows and blue tits and whatever. Yeah, but I don't think he's coming out this way. Which is unfortunate. Yeah, but he might be uh, he might be over there in that sort of like horseshoe section of Terminal Three. Oh bless ya. Seventeenth <laughs> <coughs> uh, Mustang, uh, Martin Smith. Uh, Farid, Sue Cruz, so many of you folks. Uh, like I say, there's a lot of you guys who send us amazing messages um, and have just recently sent us uh, messages to say, listen, Happy New Year and thank you so much. We're not, we, 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 we sit in the background watching it as a family and all that kind of stuff. We don't get involved in the chat, but we're, we're happy to support the channel. It's just amazing, man. It is amazing. Um, and all the people who've come up and said hello to me uh, throughout my travels, uh, so many of you guys to mention, all that great bunch of guys down there in Toronto as well, um, who just like mobbed me in a parking lot. <clears throat> it was absolutely quite overwhelming, I have to say, um, but just, uh, just fantastic. Just amazing to think that we just... Sparrow's having a word. Sorry, what was that? 
No, 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 I can't do that, mate. <laughs> I think that Dreamline is moving, Jilly. And he's moving this way, which is quite interesting. He might taxi out here and go up that way. Okay, stand by, stand by. This could be quite interesting. This might be our man who's supposedly going to give us a flash, ladies and gents. This could be a flash from a Virgin jet. Now, I've got my light up here. I could possibly give him a little flash. He's not going to see it, though. It's, it's quite light. It's quite big here, but over there, it'll be like a little spin brick in the... Mind you, it's on the top of a building, so... Hello, what's that? What's that taxi now? Is that that 75? Is that that 757? Oh, no. Sorry, mate. Here he comes now. Here he comes now. Okay. Which? What's the? Uh, what's the flight number, Jilly? VS three six four two. Lahore. Oh, he's going to go left. I think he's going to go left. He's going left, isn't he? Oh, that's a shame. Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Go on, son. Here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here he comes. Hey! Come on, mate. Right, I'm going to give it. I'm going to start flashing him now. I'm going to start flashing now. <laughs> Probably not him, is it? <laughs> So this is the one that's going to cross the timelines, isn't it? I thought it was San... Yeah, oh. Now the start-up. Oh, yes. That is... Nice. Oh, Mike, when he was coming back from LAX, uh, coming back to LAX, said he couldn't help but think of me when he was sitting at the uh, right next to the engine of the Triple Seven as it's fired up the engine. Listen to those big engines whirring. Number two, clear to start. what it's all about folks that noise right there is just married to big jet tv carl the astronomer good day to you my friend carl uh, scotty tarpley dardy 37 a very warm welcome to everybody hope you're doing well uh, keeping well as well i hope you're keeping well looking after yourself Should have worn me big, um, me big, uh, spacey trousers. I didn't, so there we go. Oh, look, it's 10 30. Only an hour and a half to go, Jilly, man. An hour, one hour, yeah. Will the Hyatt bring you a glass of bubbly at midnight? <laughs> no, Kevin. Um, quickly nip down and get a beer in a minute I think folks if that's all right with you just to uh... shandy should I say
Someone's saying, uh, Martin Smith, yes, we are live, Martin. 22, uh, 29, I'm seeing on my phone right now. Bcal Pam says, you hear the engine startups much clearer at night. Well, the thing is, yes, um, it is. it definitely seems to be the case that you do get a, um, um, well, it, it is kind of, I, I don't know, nightfall is less traffic maybe, um, just things seem to be a little bit more, yeah. Also when there's low cloud base as well, sort of like, I think night, yeah, it does sort of like, I don't know. <laughs> Alitalia, or ATI, I think. Um, ITA, sorry, uh, on finals, debash mode, thank you. What is the last plane to arrive tonight then? Let's have a look and see. By the way, folks, anybody... Um, oh, uh, Danny Robel, uh, Rubel, Rubel, sorry, saying 380 on push. Uh, Emirates A380 has pushed back, so... Uh, okay, okay. Go. you've got to you've got to appreciate all the folks you know the everybody involved in dispatching that airplane folks uh, a number of them all working here tonight so uh, keeping the wheels of industry turning we've got to remember these folks of course And I know I mentioned mentioned them right at the uh, front end of the show. Oh, hello. I know he's not watching, but good mate, Andrew Buddery, Virgin, uh, Virgin captain on the Dreamliner. Big shout out to you, Andrew and the family. So many pilots that, uh, that I follow and follow me on, um, on LinkedIn as well. A big shout out to everybody on there as well. And all the, uh, industry folks I think this is a DHL 757 folks I did hear him just now uh, there it is yeah the unmistakable long fuselage like th long thin fuselage perfect freighter very level as well um, must be um, must be liked and appreciated by the uh, load masters around the world who load those 757s and of course uh, don't forget all those people working in the industry as well uh, keeping the freight industry running you know um, your test kits are coming from China ladies and gentlemen that's why we see so many of these Chinese uh, jets but also um, a lot of the, uh, the uh, 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 our flag carriers Virgin Atlantic and British Airways still doing flights and will continue to do flights uh, out to uh, to China and other places as well that do test kits as well. Um, I, I think, um, you know, there are so many destinations um, that... Uh... What's up, GP? Oh, Carl has sent us the picture of the Big Jet TV sticker at the South Pole, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow, that's nuts. Okay, G can you send that to me on the... Oh, here we go, look, here we go. He's got a big one coming out. Winding it up.
But where is it then? Oh, it's a triple in it. Yeah, we got to, we got to, we got to, I've, we got to put that everywhere, haven't we? And just say like you know, wow, you know, Carl, thank you so much um, for, for for carrying out your um, your task and succeeding uh, beyond belief. Thank you so much, uh, Robert uh, Eggleshaw is a returning member. Welcome, Robert, and a big shout out to all those folks who've joined tonight as new members. Um, again, folks, I just have to say this once uh, every now and then is just make sure that if you are a new member make sure you subscribe to the channel because uh, you do not automatically uh, become a subscriber if you become a member so it is uh, it's it's really important that you uh, that you subscribe to the channel as well and turn on your notifications uh, that's 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 kind of really important so that you don't miss anything um, and we of course do have uh, an app as well if you want to if you want to join the app, uh, just download it in, uh, in either of your um, application, um, your uh, app stores or whatever it is, that, not stores, but the, uh, the uh, iOS and um, the other one. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, man, Dad, I'm just... <laughs> Kevin's gone straight into superclass, wow. This is big, I think this is big. These are big heavies going out, aren't they? Dreamliner. Those unmistakable blink, blinky bum lights, look. Yee bum lights. Um, oh, hello. So this is a uh, Virgin 350 with a um, with a plaster on his number one. He's been playing in the garden again, isn't ya? Uh, Dylan McTurk, my friend, was supposed to be the first uh, officer on the Emirates, but unfortunately he tested positive for COVID. Oh, that's a shame, man. On this, on this uh, Emirates 380 that we're seeing going out now. Oh, that's a shame, uh, Dylan. Uh, Chicky Armitage, Germany will be celebrating in 30 minutes New Year. Oh, okay, yes, of course. Um, yes, indeed. They are an hour ahead of us, aren't they? Yes, they're an hour ahead of us in Germany. Um, and Europe, of course, and France and everywhere, all our friends out there. Of course, it's not just, it's not a universal, you know, like, three, two, one, happy new year. Yeah, well, thanks a lot. Yeah, there's me worrying about 20 second delay. <laughs> Flipping it. How many hundreds of countries celebrating? <laughs> that, oh, hello, listen. Kevin's gone straight into superclass. Kevin, blimey, O'Reilly, thank you, my friend, and a very warm welcome to you. Uh, Nick Hager, upgraded to executive. Nick, a very warm welcome to you as well. That's all you get with an XWB, isn't it? It's a very, very sort of like short, not even explosive uh, startup. Very quiet indeed. <gasps> oh! Was that the Sem 5? I thought, oh man, did I? Oh, oh now I'm really upset. Sorry, folks. 
Sorry, sorry, sorry. I really wanted to get that as well. Oh, no. Louis Sylvia Wood. Sorry about that. Uh, Stuart Watson. Number 380 on Raybar. Ray, Raybar. Radar. Um, let's just make sure we don't miss that. Great show tonight and throughout 2021. Happy New Year to you all. Uh, Dan Davison, thank you. Gary Krausen. VS411 to Lagos. Oh, I missed the 7.5, man. Got some fireworks, though. Troy Jackson tuning in from Colorado. Happy New Year to you, uh, Troy. Jeffrey Primus, uh, Stacy Fenton, Diesel 13. Good afternoon to you, Louise Sylvia Wood. Good evening, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Terry G, uh, Miles High, uh, Mac Cat Lady, Debbie Speller, Sue Cruz, uh, Shaw's Photography Wales are a new member, a full member on Big Jet TV and First Class, and of course, uh, going to be joining. Got a bit of pre sip, which is a little bit um, concerning. Wasn't expecting any rain. Uh, it's a very small amount, I've got to say. It's only very marginal. Oh, <laughs> it keeps happening, doesn't it? Okay, you got some more, yeah? Two, thought we had one. We played Lakin. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's going to be the biggest hour of fill that you've ever seen in your life, isn't it? Will be good. Will be good. Debbie Speller. Good afternoon, Carl the astronomer. Um, have I seen that picture yet? Have you sent it? You've sent it, haven't you? Oh, wow! Carl, you're a legend, man! Geographic South Pole, and it's got a Big Jet TV sticker on it. That is absolutely awesome. Sir, you are a legend. Um, Carl, thank you so much uh, for doing that. That's wonderful. We'll, uh, we'll definitely use that if that's all right. Um, of course, it was removed, I guess, afterwards. Um, Dan, uh, Dan Davison upgraded his membership to executive something. No, nope, that's a vehicle. Um, you are amazing. Thank you so much indeed, um, Carl. Uh, B. Calpan, Melanie Lester, Stripey Jewels. Hi, Jerry and Jilly. Thanks for all the fantastic shows in 21. Hoping for a healthy, happy and peaceful part from the jet noise 2022 for everybody. Um, yeah, we want to keep that jet noise coming. Um, hope you enjoyed that little piece that we did at Ski Athos uh, earlier on. Um, the, um, the, the movements were very few and far between because we were sort of like right at the end, if not out of season uh, at Ski Athos. So um, we only had a few... Um, a few um, things happening. Oh, I keep missing them. No. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Ian Goldsworthy, um, Mad Matt UK. Every year I watch the celebrations from 12 p.m. onwards from Australia. I didn't do that this year. Just been too busy. Mad Matt UK. Great to see you. Um, we do hear that apparently um, the, um, the, the um, fireworks celebrations or the fireworks, should I say, will be happening tonight in London, but from an undisclosed location.
Yeah, that's what you told me. Oh. <laughs> okay, there's an A300 going out uh, that I can see taxiing. I'll try and, try and get that. Seeing as we're really... Uh, Time, should they? I guess it's because it's uh, because of all the traffic, uh, because of all the lights and uh, all the stuff going on. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's hilarious, man. That would be hilarious, wouldn't he? Uh, we'd get fired for that probably, though, I'd imagine. Um, but there we go, so be careful if you try and do that, um, Mr. Henry or your friend uh, or uh, brother or whatever. Um, uh, don't blame us if he gets fired. Um, so uh, it could be anonymous though, couldn't it? Just be anonymous, you know. Uh, oh, look. <laughs> uh, yeah. What's that, 380 going out? <laughs> A robins sing through the night, really? So I have time to nip down and grab a beer then, do I? Okay. So can we maintain the audience? Can we maintain the audience whilst I go and get a beer, folks? Can we do that? Let's just see if we can. I reckon I, reckon I can do it in five minutes, okay? Right, check to stand by. I've got two things to check here. <laughs> okay, phone. Oh, no, I'll tell you what we will play out, folks. Uh, here we go, here we go. Just make sure we haven't got anything on approach. Let's just double check we haven't got anything on approach, Jilly. Good one to play out. Nice, yeah. That's towards London, folks. That's east, east end of London. But oh, we're obviously nowhere near the east. It's a lot closer than the east end of London. Good display, good display. Oh, we've got clear skies overhead. Blimey. Actually got clear skies overhead. Can you add them and leave it? Crazy. It's warm and there's clear skies. Well, it's not warm, but, you know, nice one. Oh, okay. So um, I'll tell you what we're going to play out, folks, just very quickly. Uh, this is a good one. What's that, What's that Julie? Uh, the Virgin. The Virgin. Yeah. It's only two minutes long, is it? Can I do it in two minutes? Okay, it's highly unlikely. Hold on a minute. Let me just check where the key is. Two minutes and seven seconds. <laughs> okay, okay. I've got both things there. I've got my face mask. Give me a 30 second start. Stand by, let me get this one. Let me get this one. Got something going out, haven't we? Oh, is that the A300? Oh, that's a 350 rolling there, isn't it? Nice. Is he 
crossing timelines. 300's gonna go up like a skyrocket in it. Aidan is a new member. Aidan Cassidy is a new member. Welcome, Aidan. Great to see you here. And Tom Johnson is also a new member. Welcome, Tom. And Paul G. Blimey, O'Reilly. Uh, if you're a new member, make sure you subscribe, folks. Really important. Uh, A300, next on the runway. Debash mode. Thank you. Debash. Okay, this could go up very early. I've got. She's rolling. Wow. Sounds like an old jumbo. Flipping heck. folks um, we do normally do this in the daylight so uh, <laughs> okay folks are we ready a300 Kelvin Grant saying the a300 is the last departure Jilly okay okay I'll tell you what is interesting is I don't think we've got anything coming in because uh, I've got ops vehicles on the runway down there. In fact, uh, they're not ops vehicles. That looks like um, James made double-ended um, limousine from Top Gear. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, folks, give me... Um, let's see if we can do this in two minutes. If I don't manage it in two minutes, and how many? Seven seconds, Jilly. Jilly's going to give me a 30-second start, so... Um, Stand by, folks. Here we go. Uh, hold on, hold on a minute. Uh, Hodge is saying only two more departures uh, for 2021. A320 Egypt Air and a BA777-200. I'm not going to miss any of those, am I, Jelly? We need to get those last two departures. You ready? Okay. Okay, here we go. Go.
Hey, yeah, let's go out together. Yeah, 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 let's go out. What time do you want to meet? Oh, I don't know, uh, seven o'clock, something like that. Yeah, what do you want to do? Well, I'll sit there and watch me, uh, I'll sit there and watch me phone and you, <laughs> you can sit there and watch your phone as well. Great, yeah. What's the point in going out then? <laughs> anyway, there you go. Uh, cheers, everybody. Happy New Year. God bless you, blimey, all right. Um, yes, I am drinking alcohol. But it's, um, it's kind of watered down with lemonade. Um, not like the ladies downstairs who are drinking, um, um, uh, uh, what was it? Um, espresso martinis. Oh, how lovely. Um, it's one of those, isn't it? That you just go bang like that. It's like, they're like, a little bit like that. It's like, wallop. <laughs> Uh, another one, please. Bang. Um, it's a bit like drinking. Um, and uh, drinking is not a good thing, folks. Uh, by the way, uh, I'm just talking about um, uh, older people. <laughs> older people who drink alcoholic beverages responsibly, of course. Um, but it's like that. Um, what is it? The um, the coffee stuff. Oh goodness me. Uh, Bailey's. Bailey's. Oh, it's dangerous. Bailey's is man. I'm telling you that it's dangerous gear because uh, it's like it's like oh that's nice <laughs> it's, like, it's just it's just like drinking sweets isn't it um, anyway um, oh is that sort of like out that way is it is that sort of out that way let's just have a look I hope I'm hoping that that is not where the um, where the fireworks are going to be, but we do hear that apparently, um, oh, no, I can hear an engine start up, Jilly, and I think that is the Egypt Air A320 Neo, or what's the other one? No, it's got to be, because the only other one going out is a 777, isn't it? A BA777? Oh. We're starting to get starting to sound a bit like um, we're, we're under attack. We're under attack. <laughs> wow, that was a big one, man. That was a big one. Yeah, man. Don't worry about the glass. Just neck it out. <laughs> drinks like a fish to drink do, do fish actually drink like uh water like that it go it passes through their gills doesn't it it's it yeah yeah <laughs> some big ones going off to my left might have to lose the light in a minute Yeah, wow, what a year we've had though, folks, really. We've managed to get out to quite a number of places with our members um, and had some great times as well. Um, and also, if we can ever also give, um, give our free viewers a, 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 a little look into what it's like to be a first class member. Of course, we do have different membership levels on here. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to go into that now. Um, but of course, everything you need to know is on the channel, uh, folks. Um, so I've got to fill now, I think. Um, all right, Phil. All right, mate. <laughs> what wind wave? The wing wave, we'll never forget. What wing wave? What wing wave? Mind that. <laughs> uh, we're talking about, are we talking about the, oh, oh, am I way back in the comments? Oh my goodness me, yeah. Um, I know folks, you just, you've just watched that 747. Um, how long have I been live for? Oh no, all that time that I've come out here, yeah. Um, sorry, um, it was just that, um, <laughs> 
it was just yeah of course um the 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 747 how emotional was that ladies and gentlemen and how apt was that um oh hello. how apt was that um the track that went with it wow it's going off all over the gaff now it's getting more and more intense Yeah, go on. 320 Neo. Martin Ackerman, Egypt Air, cleared to push. Thank you, Martin. Um, I'm way behind the comments, am I? Oh, blimey, I am. Sorry. Sailor Mike, good day, everybody. So many of you folks that I'm seeing on here um, and, and, and reading out your names, and I know there's a lot of you folks like I said, who sit back on the sidelines and like to just sit back and watch. Uh, don't get involved in the chat so much, uh, which is absolutely fine. However, every now and then you might dip in and say, hey, Jerry, did you know this or did you know that? Um, and so on and so forth, which is what I really get. I really enjoy, folks, is, you know, the, 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 the contribution from you and the, and, the, and the connectivity that we have. Um, as as aviation fans, you know, and there's so much that you guys educate me on. Um, let's let's you know, let's be honest. It's uh, it's it's you guys who really are the knowledgeable ones, and uh, I'm so fortunate to have so many of you on the channel who educate me and educate other people as well. And uh, and we learn about aviation literally every time we go live. We're learning something new, um, and uh, and I cannot thank you guys enough. For um, for helping me out on that on that as well, and keeping us all um, us informed on uh, on what's happening operationally with um, with aircraft movements and so on and so forth, um, all throughout the shows, it's just it's just wonderful. So Heathrow is um, in in a funny sort of way, kind of uh, going to sleep at the moment. So maybe we should speak a little bit quieter. Um, I wonder. Shh. Sleepy in that nice, he throat. Go sleep in that nice. Now, I'm not going to tell you a bedtime story, he Oh, that is the little Egypt Air 320 Neo. And th is this the last one out of Heathrow in 2021? Or is there one more? BA321, uh, um, BA777, I think he said. Did we uh, did we did we figure out whether we'd seen that here before? Did uh, did I haven't? No, I'm, I'm sure that someone else is going to tell us. Um, Fifty-five minutes to go. GN man saying uh, thank you, David Slater. Thank you, CN office Andrew Hickingbottom. Um, Sam Tweedale, Jeffrey Phillips, uh, Hasta uh, Soft, uh, new names, um, Hasta Soft, Happy New Year from Holland, keep up the good work from 2022, uh, thank you Hasta Soft, uh, Liz Matthewman, and um, if you can hear us Annalise, uh, Annablise, if you're out there in Holland, um, we'd love to hear from you if we can. Um, you know, the more we don't hear from you and the more we ask about you, um, it is quite concerning that we're not hearing from you. Um, but we would love to hear from you. Uh, a very good friend of ours, Annalise, Annablise, um, from Holland, who, who has, uh, come out and visit us, visited me, uh, during shows and, um, brought some lovely, um, you know, some lovely food out to me while I've been filming out there on the Polder Barn. Um, lovely lady, and I do, I really do sincerely hope she's, she's okay. Um, it's a very difficult thing for us to sort of like find this information out, isn't it? Um, but we will uh, obviously try our best, and if anybody does happen to know um, if, uh, if she's okay, then uh, just, just to have that would be, would be good enough. Um, 
but we will we will hopefully uh, hear from her soon. Um, but anyway, thank you, folks. Uh, Sandy Humby, Rusty T, Nane Bot, Louis Sylvia Wood. So mild for this time of year, indeed it is. I mean, I'm uh, I've got a jacket on, um, and it is a little bit of a, a a cold breeze up here now. I'm at least a hundred feet up on top of the Hyatt place, um, exposed to the wind. So obviously. Um, uh, a lot more extreme than it would be if I was down on, on street level. Um, just trying to catch as many of these um, fireworks as I can. Um, yes, any... Uh... Getting loud here already, seeing off this mile tight. Turn the runway lights off when you leave, please, Cherry. Oh, Hodgie saying, uh, will be the last flight of 2021 at 2320, uh, Boeing 777-200. Wow, how about that? What a classic way to finish 2021 with departures out of London Heathrow with a 777-200, um, which will make a right old racket, I would hope. As you can see, um, yeah, they've closed this runway. This runway is most definitely closed, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there are no runway lights on at the moment. Uh, Terminal 5 still lit up. Something going on down there. Might be um, calibration or something like that, maybe. It's been sitting there for quite some time. Maybe just... Uh, some kind of repair vehicle that does little patches or something like that or uh, maybe um, runway light replacement uh, um, thing <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking left to see if there's anything on approach because there isn't and there won't be and that's it we're done for 2021 folks uh, we are literally squeezing out the last and we do a lot of times wait as long as we can for the last aircraft before we finish the shows um, and this time really is it this is the first time we've ever is this the first time we've done out here Jilly on uh, not out here but outside uh, on on New Year's have we yeah we did Dean Newman is a new member welcome Dean yeah we this time last year I think we were at um, we were at the office, weren't we? We were live at the studio. But I don't think we've ever done one outside. I think I've been tucked up and asleep by 10 o'clock normally. Um, but folks, we had to do this. We had to do this. Um, because we've all had a hard year, haven't we? All of us together. Um, and the only, we're gonna, only way we're gonna get through this is, is by being together uh, like we are. Um, we have a fantastic community on Big Jet TV, but we are all a very uh, sensible bunch of people. And um, it's just great that we're, uh, we're able to sort of like um, combine our strengths and be the way we are um, and positive. Just gotta have that positive mental attitude towards everything. Oh, well, let's just move on. Let's get through it. You know what I mean? Um, and just be sensible and be uh, be positive. God bless you. Thank you and good night. <laughs> um, teenager in sack. Uh, hey, I'm Chris. Good morning from Australia and Happy New Year. A very good morning to you, um, Chris. Let's just have a look at the world clock. Um, New York City, it's, uh, it's 11 minutes past six in the evening um hello new york and a very warm welcome oh, it keeps happening doesn't it <laughs> good thing is that we we have had a few good ones haven't we we have had a good few few ones you can hear it going off you can hear the big the bangs and the pops and the whistles um moscow it's now uh, two minutes past 12 in moscow so a very 
happy new year to all our friends out there in Moscow. Uh, Tokyo, uh, 12 minutes past eight in the morning. Uh, Miami is also uh, 6.12. Uh, Kiev is uh, one minute, uh, 12 minutes past one in the morning. Brisbane, Australia, uh, well into the morning now. It's 9.12. Auckland, um, even into the afternoon on Monday, uh, it's 12.12. 12. Toronto uh, is also uh, 6.13. And Los Angeles, uh, out there on the West Coast, is 3.13 in the afternoon. Uh, I've, that's taken me two minutes to say. That's why it's gone from 11 to 13. <laughs> uh, so um, thanks, World Clock. Thanks for that. I didn't just guess all of that. Um, we are very, very lucky to have you folks. Um, same question to Jerry. What's that? Uh, teenager in sex, 6, 12 p.m., 7, 13 p.m. Here in Nova Scotia, miles high saying. Um, Carly. Oh, I actually had a pizza before I came out. Uh, Miles High, Big Jet TV shows are good for the mental health. You might be alone at home, but with friends in here, uh, Miles, that's very, very true indeed. Uh, and uh, thank you for your kind words. It's great to have people who, um, who, we, who we make a difference to in their lives. That's really what it's all about. Uh, by the way, folks, just, just bear in mind, I know a few of you are going to go, oh, oh, it's, it's not accurate and all that, but bear in mind that there may be some delay uh, wherever you are uh, in, times, in terms of the real time that I'm reading out on here because bear in mind that there is a time delay between when I read out on here and uh, when you see it because that just is the nature of the beast with the whole broadcasting thing uh, in terms of um, you know when you see it on Sky Sports and he scores a goal uh, that actually happened about 20 seconds ago um, but um, the, um, the, the just so, so, so just bear aware, be aware of that when with the countdown clock that you're seeing on the screen when I start counting down the uh, the five four three two ones and all that um, it um, it's going to be slightly out of sync so um, you're going to get it twice is basically what it is um, it's before anyone says oh it's not working you're not in sync la 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 it's still it's already midnight Jerry you can stop counting now. <laughs> Jerry, it's already... Hello, Jerry! It's 20 seconds past midnight. Oh. <laughs> uh, Tony McCall, GN Man. Last couple of years, we have had some epic moments on Big Jet TV. GN Man, thank you so much. It is true indeed. We have... Uh, it's always, um, you know... It's, uh, it's, again, it's just so humbling to hear these, these amazing, this amazing feedback and the great words of support and letters of support and texts and messages and all that kind of stuff that come through to us. Um, we're really grateful, folks, but we're just, uh, we're just happy that what we do works for, for, for everybody, you know. It, being, it brings aviation to an aviation community who love their aviation, but at the same time, it also brings uh, a, a great community of people together to um, to, to, to sort of like uh, to celebrate and and also um, to enjoy and enjoy each other's company. It's literally a bit like a soap opera, if you know. Hey, up, Jack! Oh, go for you, Lily Sophia. Shut up, Jack. Come on, fireworks. What are you doing? Forty-three minutes. Forty-three minutes of the year is left. How about that? Forty-three minutes, folks, and we've. Uh, how many hours, how many hours, what in total have we shared together on Big Jet TV throughout this year? Oh, I mean, that's a difficult one to figure out. I mean, you've only got to look at, you've got to look at the, um, you know, without fail, I think, without fail, um, at least twice a week, 
Um, if we're not live on Freeview, we're out there with our members, but uh, our members have... Uh, have shown have been have been given and along with all our free view uh, folks as well viewers have been given um, a significant amount of content um, and it's something that we will just continue to, um, to to bring you because it is it is quite simple man I mean I'm, I, I love my aviation and I want to share it with you you know and I'm, we're so very fortunate to be located where we are so close to Heathrow and um, we're so we're so blessed to have uh, so many great people supporting us, uh, like the Hyatt Place, um, like the Hilton Garden Inn, like the Renaissance, like the uh, the Courtyard Marriott, like um, uh, the uh, Simon from uh, from the Paddock. You know the horses, the horses. Happy New Year to the horses. Sorry. Um, you know, uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, then tune into one of the Paddock shows, folks because um you know those horses are over there right now and they're all um sort of like all huddled together hopefully which they probably are uh, probably just um bedding down for the night in their big straight straw hay area that they have in the field there um yeah quite nice to actually build them up. oh keep missing them man there's one there's one oh is that it? Is that one right in the distance then? <laughs> Garden fireworks, look. Whee! Yep, I mean, some of them are pretty good really quiet now ladies and gentlemen wow this is the quietest it's ever been um no aircraft movements do we have that triple seven is he gonna do something is he going out or uh oh stand by stand by stand by where's the phone oh it's in my pocket oh! Jeffrey Primus, a lot of good times for me have been by uh, being a super class member for right here on Big Jet TV. I'm proudly wearing my shirt and pants this New Year's Eve. Fair play, Jeffrey. Thank you. Uh, Simon Brackett, a great family, we have to be honest. Um, we have all struggled, but with Jerry's upbeat positivity and Jilly's uh, brains, it's been a goodish 2021. Uh, yeah, we've got through it together, folks. Uh, 13 past 11 in Chigwell. Uh, Keith Cornell saying, uh, because Keith's in a different pl part of the world, isn't he? Uh, Debbie Speller, Sue Cruz, Greg McMillan. I hope you get more than one beer. 7.14 a.m. here in Chengdu. Peter Crane saying, if I'm in Plymouth, how far behind London am I in time? Darren Emerton saying, how many of you are, Darren? Trevor Russell, good afternoon. Good evening to you. David Bowman, yes, the lockdown shows really helped me and my family and... Uh, Entertain for sure during difficult times. So appreciative, appreciative. Thank you, David. Again, you know, you say that, but it, it's right back at you, really. Uh, your support is uh, what keeps this whole thing going and uh, your kindness as well. Uh, 17th Mustang. In Scotland, we normally get the second off as well, but because it falls on a Sunday, we're off till Wednesday, flipping heck. Uh, wow, uh, GN man, Scott Tarpley. There's a little bit of rain coming in, folks. Believe it or not, you can actually, um, which is not good really for the electrical equipment out here. Um, uh, Chicky Armitage just talked to my mother in Germany and wished her them happy New Year. Stevie Luscombe, Paul Hodgson, uh, Trisha Guy, Sailor Mike, Andy P, uh, Ian Morrison, um, James Doink. Does Jerry have an air band set up at his home? Uh, no, James, I don't. Uh, Andrew Hickingbottom, uh, Big Jet TV has tons of charisma and he's a funny guy, Jerry makes Big Jet TV for me. Great company, thank you very much indeed, Andrew. Uh, Liz Matthewman, we love Jerry, uh, Jilly and Jerry. Best show ever, thank you, Liz. Um, teenager in sack, David Carrington. Uh, Bits, uh, Bizkit, 
Um, where's this country located? Ash Wallace, how quiet is Europe and UK air spy space right now compared to normal? Oh wow, is it? Are we looking on? Um, are we looking on uh, on radar, folks, and seeing absolutely nothing happening at the moment? Has everyone got uh, just thought? You know what? I'm going to throw a few fireworks up, and um, I'm going to throw a few fireworks. That's that's me done. We're going to sleepy nunnies now, um, but we will. Uh, see the London fireworks folks just hang in there for another 38 minutes um, and we will um, we will bring you the London mind that <laughs> nice. uh, I think there is one isn't there I think there is one so quiet normally you hear the doot 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 of uh trucks loading trucks and vehicles uh revoicing nobody moving in the terminals all quiet Let's see if we can see anyone in t5 is there anyone in there be a few people asleep in there, I'd imagine. There's John, look. <laughs> yes, you can stop all that rain, um, Mother Nature. We don't need any of that. Thank you very much indeed. Good bishop, let me really do the lady. Wow, only six aeroplanes on radar in the United Kingdom right now, folks. That is insane, isn't it? Um, we've got Ian Bones is a new member. Welcome, Ian. He's a new member to Big Jet TV. And James Vincent is also a new member. Welcome, James. Great to see all you folks getting involved tonight. And uh, welcome to all our new members. Uh, uh, Nala... Nala Miseb uh, is also a new full member. Nala uh, Miseb, a very warm welcome to you. Uh, blimey, comments are, are just going nuts, mate. Going nuts. Um, is the lock max still at Heathrow after its ramp incident? Uh, can't see it. Can't see it from here, unfortunately. Um, and uh, my Uber driver is not going to go past it, so I can't even give you feedback on that at the moment. Um, but hopefully we might be able to see if it's here on the... On... I would imagine that they would probably want to get somebody out here quite quickly to deal with that. Because uh, not only does it need to be um, positioned to somewhere where it can be fixed, um, but it needs to be back in service as soon as possible. Uh, because Lot will obviously want to uh, have that in operation, I'd imagine. Uh, so, yeah, watching with George, my golden retriever. Oh, he's three years old today and loves fireworks. Thanks, Jerry and Jilly. Liz uh, Dixon saying, wow, does that keep cutting out? Then? Oh. Yeah, that was close by. Oh man, I hope it all goes off when we when it when it's when it's midnight. I hope all around us is like boom, bam, bing, bing, boom, 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 now, and all that. Tony Stark, happy new year to planet Earth. There we go. Uh, Kelvin Grant, BA has just come on radar at T5. Well, we'll hear it start up, folks. I'm not seeing any... Um... Oh, I've got a pushback. Is that what's going on there? Lot Max went out yesterday, did it? Okay. 
wonder if that's a... Uh... Looks like a Dreamliner. Startup of 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Start up in aisle three, please. Start up in aisle three. Thank you. not making any noise. Eddie Sibley is a new member. Have I, have I pronounced that right? Oh, I think I have, yeah. Eddie Sibley is a new member. And Duncan Booker is also a new member. Welcome, Duncan. Call the astronomer. Still hear it. Bungo. Pussy Hill is a new member. Ah, oh, Bungo. Um, they're probably all right, I'd imagine. Dave Carrington, BA777, off to Abuja in Nigeria. No, I missed it, sorry. Oh, Paul Bush, thank you so much. Uh, Jan, Happy New Year. Carl the Astronomer, Louise, Sylvia Wood. Um, thank you, Janine. Kelly, Helen Clap, uh, Basil Sims, Hammy Inc, Sammy Hamby. Um. <laughs> teenager in sack, how many years you've been playing crazy? Uh, all my life, teenager in sack. Uh, my father was a pilot. Um, aviation literally runs through my veins. Uh, my old dad flew. Um, a, a, a right good array of aircraft uh, from way back in the day. Um, Constellations, uh, my dad flew Constellations for um, Skyways of London. Um, the, um, flew the uh, Bristol Britannia with British Eagle. Um, IAS, International Aviation Services, DC-854 freighters, uh, flew them out of Gatwick. Um, then also did a stint with um, um, on the 747 100s, I think. Um, what's that? Hmm. 
sorry. Uh, yeah, the 747-100 with Saudi, um, Saudi Arabian Airlines are flying out of Jeddah. Um, so uh, my old man was a pilot through and through, uh, freight dog and passenger jet pilot. Um, and um, I'm lucky that my love of aviation was, uh, was something that was just passed down naturally. Um, always loved aviation. Always loved aeroplanes. All different uh, types of aircraft as well. Not just um, modern aviation, but everything from historic aircraft um, right the way across the board, military stuff, big into my history, Bomber Command, um, Second World War, all that kind of stuff. Um, I know it was a terrible time for a lot of people, but I'm fascinated by the uh, by the campaigns and uh, but also I love my uh, I love my modern stuff I love the technology I love the engineering um, everything that uh, that goes into aviation um, I actually actually love very much indeed and uh, it's just great that we've got this community that we have to uh, to celebrate it together so this folks is the last departure for 2021 out of London Heathrow, um, Abuja. Is it Abuja? It's headed um, in Nigeria, 777, 200, I think, possibly powered by Rolls Royce engines. So we should get a nice, noisy departure out of her. It's a four door 200 variant. Gonna dim the cabin lights in a bit. GP got flight number B8 BA83 um, how about that uh, Ian Goldsworthy can't find the shard unfortunately on Google Maps okay um, well Pretty sure it's sort of like uh, southeast of me, more so than northeast of me, and hopefully not directly east of me. Um, but hey, we'll get what we get, and there'll no doubt be fireworks all the way around here, uh, all the way around us, and that all will be going off. Simon Brackett. I'm sure people can't tell the time of fireworks. Uh, no fireworks here in Oakhampton, Devon. Uh, too windy. Uh, Drone and Simworld are new members here on Big Jet TV. Drone and Simworld, a very warm welcome to you. Brian 773, uh, Happy New Year to G Jilly, Jerry, and the Big Jet TV community around the world. Uh, this is Triple Seven, was especially delayed for us, Mirror Man say. Uh, Valerie Dickens, good evening to you. Mark Hansen, um, nearly about to say good morning to you folks. Another uh, 24 minutes or so, and we'll be saying Happy New Year. Welcome 2022. Um, Paul Skilling to right, Trevor Russell, Rav H, 17th Mustang. It's 25 degrees in Abuja. Wow, blooming heck, that's hot, man. Stepping, stepping off the plane into those, uh, into that heat um, would be a crazy thing. Uh, Dave Owen is a new member. Welcome, Dave. Um, Jane Chapman, uh, this flight may go over my house in Sussex. Um, very possibly be quite high by the time it gets there, I would imagine, though, Jane. Um, uh, Danny Robel, I can't imagine the 777 is carrying many people at this time of day on this 
day of the year. So yeah, could very possibly either go intersect or go, um, go up very quickly. Okay, Martin Ackerman, there we go. It's not taking the full length runway. Therefore, it is an intersecting departure. So here we go, folks. Any moment now, we should hear this thing fire up. Here it goes. Darren Edmonton, that's lovely. <laughs> Thanks, Darren. Here we go. He's not holding back. Thank you, Nats. They've got a real skeleton staff on it up there now, I'd imagine. Phil and Steve and Joan. The, uh, did you say X, Leper? <laughs> That's it. That's it, folks. That is it. Blimey. Never had that before, have we? We've landed as the last aeroplane at Heathrow before, haven't we? Coming back from a show, uh, we were the last aeroplane and we were very lucky to be the last aeroplane because the aircraft that was behind us, which was an Emirates A380, was, was uh, uh, he had to divert up to Manchester or wherever it was. Uh, Drone and Simworld. Hi, Jerry. Uh, I'm Michael from Germany. We had a brief encounter in Frankfurt at the airport where when you were in a hurry because you had to catch your flight. Can you remember? Uh, in Germany at Frankfurt. Oh, was that inside or outside, um, Michael? Oh, okay. Uh, okay, when I was coming back on the 380. Um, I'm sure, I'm sure, I, 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 I'm, I'm, Frankfurt, let me just think, let me think, uh, no, it's that, da, da, da. that's a difficult one, isn't it, Michael? Um, um, sorry, I didn't have more time to, uh, to, uh, to speak to you, uh, Michael, and hopefully next time I'm at Frankfurt, which hopefully won't be too long, um, we can um, we can uh, we can meet up and uh, and say hello uh, for a little bit longer than last time. Uh, Fiona Addison, uh, a very happy New Year to you. Um, I've got to think back to that now. I'm like um, the, the 380 boarding of 380 was like what at what point was I? As it was it as I was walking through the doors? Was it uh, was it after check in? Was it before check in? Oh, outside I was running. Oh, okay, there we go. Sorry, uh, Michael. I'm really sorry about that. 
Um, oh, uh, Chicky Armitage, great engine sound. Triple Seven and a Robin, lovely Debbie, Debbie Spellate. Fireworks going off in Hertfordshire. Cal Weatherdo telling us. Uh, Steve Lautney, um, still 6,000 to New Year arrives here in Texas. Someone is already setting off fireworks and the horses are running like crazy around the pasture. Oh, that's a shame, Steve. I uh, never like to see uh, uh, animals freaked um, and spooked by anything. Uh, Alexander Wood, indeed, thank you. Um, uh, Chashi, get the camera out. Alexander Wood, thank you. Nats, yes. Okay, mm, sounds nice, Stephen Luscombe. Uh, Carol Ann Hayden is a new member. Welcome, Carol Ann. Uh, good to see you here. Thank you, folks. If you join us tonight um, live from um, Heathrow, um, we are literally in the last throws of um, what's my um, what's my face looking like on there? Oh. <laughs> Every time I look. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, <coughs> yeah. I mean, I wouldn't have thought that it's specifically, oh, sounded like, oh, no, no, no. This is good enough, though, isn't it? Stuart Watson, Liz Matthew, James Thorne, Daniel Robel. Uh, Danny saying in Madrid the heavies are taking off at midnight uh, very late like it's nothing in the past 45 minutes 14 heavies took off definitely a conga line forming to South America over there wow wow going off in Madrid uh, Darren Emerton yes indeed you always got to think of, uh, of 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 the people, the folks who work, you know, across all sectors, not just the aviation sector, but all sectors around the world, doing doing jobs behind the scenes that we just don't see happening. All your parcels that are getting sorted right now in parcel uh, distribution centres, uh, people working overnight there. Um, all the people who are sorting and 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 and, and the guys that. The, the truckers who are out there uh, delivering the um, the vital foods and um, and 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 all our, all our test kits as well. Uh, I know a lot of people saying like we haven't got any test kits and all that. Well, that's be just because of the demand versus what 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 what, what you can achieve. And um, uh, fortunately, we've got a very strong uh, aviation uh, cargo. Uh, sector in place that uh, that continually um, as much as it can delivers uh, when it can uh, those um, those test kits and so on and so forth called bless you blimey O'Reilly uh, Peachy Keen is a new member welcome Peachy good to see you here nice okay well I'm hoping that at midnight on the nail there's going to be a uh, a lot of action. Wow. Red B, happy new year to you all, and thank you, Jerry and Jilly. Thanks, Red B, Ian Morrison, uh, Alan Robbins, Margie Ann. Good afternoon to you. Good evening. Sorry, Owen Beauchamp. When do you think you go back to the courtyard, Marriott? Uh, Owen. It's um, it's literally down to when that um, that hotel um, is taken out of service for uh, quarantine. But uh, of course, we will be there as soon as we can, as soon as we're able to. Yeah. 
Yeah, of course. It was uh, it was uh, an absolute honour to um, to raise all that money. You guys are just fantastic. Um, and, and of course, Big Jet TV are going to be putting towards a, a big, um, a big amount of money towards that um, <coughs> that the the, um, the the show that we did for raising money for the NHS uh, Trust Foundation on uh, on Christmas Day, which we raised thirty three thousand three hundred pounds, I think it is um, current, uh, and we, we've stopped all of that, by the way, as. as we, Three thousand two hundred forty-eight pounds. So we we are we. I mean, obviously, uh, Google um, slash YouTube take their forty percent, and we will of course uh, pay that shortfall uh, ourselves. So we're going to be covering that shortfall. So that's our contribution, which is going to be around about forty um, percent of that. Uh, so that will bring it up. That means that every single penny that you donated, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you so much. Uh, from the bottom of our hearts and, and for on behalf of the NHS uh, Charities Trust. Looking forward to presenting them with a cheque um, uh, as soon as we can, obviously. Um, but, um, but thank you so much for, for getting involved in that. And then again, uh, for all you wonderful people who care about the animals as well, uh, contributing to the World Wildlife Fund on the Sunday, which was on Boxing Day, also raising uh, 3,300 pounds, which was just, uh, was just, just phenomenal. Um, massively, uh, massively humbled by all of that. There we go. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. The fireworks are going to be over that. If they are, they are. And that's just the way it is. A crow? I can hear a crow. He's not very happy. <laughs> Worms. <laughs> oh, look, there's one there. Look, oh, there's a pigeon flying. Oh, mate. Oh, there's a couple of pigeons flying past me now. That's a shame. Sorry, mate. I do think the fireworks should only be allowed to be sold times of the year and not all bleeding year to be honest with you because it does disrupt the uh, wildlife then it all bless you believe me really once again bless you jelly uh, jerry and all big jet tv members this has been a memorable year and your dedication is unbelievable it brings joy and knowledge to us all i'm looking forward to 2022 jeffrey primus thank you darren emerton uh, trev lyon andy p um, a very warm thank you from us um, Gillian, myself, cannot thank you guys enough for uh, for all your support and your kind contributions and your lovely uh, words of support that you give us. Wow, look at that. Wendy Bembridge, thank you, Mark Barr. Thank you very much indeed, Wendy. It's, Wendy it is going to go bonkers, isn't it? Um, it was going to. Sea Hill 10, uh, Ben Brown, thank you, Russell. Uh, Jerry, nice meeting you and, and Zane last month for dinner. Yes, Darren Emerton, so thoughtful of Jerry and Judy to bring us uh, this show on New Year's Eve. Uh, thank you. Why are they setting them off when it's close to midnight? 
crazy Darren Edwards. I hope 2022 um, we can all turn corner and move forward to some sort of normality and put this wretched COVID behind us. Yes, indeed. Uh, thank you, David Edwards. Uh, Scott T. Hissy. Hello, Jerry and Jilly. Happy New Year. First time, hello, and long term members since days, long term member since days of Jerry and Johnny. Thank you for your, all your efforts in providing us the wonderful shows through, your, through the years. Uh, cheers to you, Scott. Wow, that's amazing. That's the first time in all that time, and he's been there since the day that I stuck the phone through the bleeding fence here at Heathrow. Uh, Scott, thank you. A perfect example of all the people that are with us um, and support us here on Big Jet TV. Thank you, Scott. So much appreciate it. Um, how <laughs> much as that guy spent on the fireworks? Thank you, Scott. Really, really appreciate that. Uh, Say Hill. 10 is a new member thank you um mark johnson thank you very much indeed daryl clark cuddy mir rab h um tcc leslie eglinton um keith cornell thank you very much indeed eric ask uh soon one hour in the new year in norway uh happy new year jerry and jilly yes it is already um well way past uh new year happy new year to europe should i say um Thank you, Europe. Um, we have six minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Six minutes left of 2021. Um, and that is just fantastic. So I need to be keeping a close check on, right, light's gonna go off now. JM, welcome back. JM is a is a returning member. JM, welcome back. Uh, thank you, folks. Oh, Keith Cornell, thank you. Robert Mendez. Oh, hello. That was a nice big one right there, which I missed. That's Brentwood over there. It's going off, it's going off. Nice. Yeah. Three minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Three minutes remaining. <laughs> it 
It's going off. Andy Finley. Who's going to be the last? Who's going to be the last one to join as a member on Big Jet TV? <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Of course, it won't be televised. Look at it going off, man. Look at it going off. Look at it going off. Look at that. I've got 23.58 and 18 seconds, Jelly. Let it be an act. Here we go, folks. Hold on tight. Hold tight, hold tight. Long, fast ride. Wow, what do I look at, man? What do I look at? See it. Less than a minute left of 2021, ladies and gentlemen. Seven seconds left. No, 20 seconds left. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Get it on, ladies and gentlemen. Happy New Year. Yeah. Go, London. Go, man. Look at it. experience anything like this. Look at London, look at London, man. Look at London. Oh my God, man. Around here, man. Look at it, look at it, look at it. It's like they're doing it for us. <laughs> yeah.
bonkers. <laughs> Have I slept through this for the last four years then? Because, because. Have I missed this? How have I missed this? <laughs> wake up, man, wake up. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Wow. Big ones, the big finale that you're looking for, man. Yeah, you don't want any that stuff that floats around. Oh. I think that's that one over there done. Yeah, yeah. Flipping heck, man. Oh. There's some big stuff going on over there. That is that. That's got to be it, isn't it? That's got to be the London. That's a bit of a rogue one, that one, it. First show of 2022, isn't it? Wow, wow, wow. run out of ammo down south. No, there's another wave coming in over there. Oh, woke the dog up. Parakeets are awake now. Oh, wait, Well, what can we say, ladies and gentlemen? 3,100 people watching an aviation channel with no planes in it. <laughs> How nuts is that? Oh, that's fantastic, man. 
Happy New Year to everybody around the world, folks. I know you probably, some of you are already, um, as, is, uh, as they are in New Zealand, already flipping halfway through the day. Uh, New Year's Day. They're like, what are you talking about New Year's? We've been there, seen that, done that, worn a t-shirt uh, and all that. Um, but um, wow, what a fantastic uh, end to 2021, ladies and gents. Um... <laughs> Just, that was absolutely insane and so intense. I've never seen anything like that. And like I said just now, what was I doing in the last four years? Obviously. It's like, wake up, man! Wake up! It's all going on! Uh, so we'll have to do it again next year, won't we? Um, wow, fantastic. Thank you, folks. Um, you really are a great bunch of people. I cannot thank you enough. Um, uh, w... MCXG52 is uh, the first member, I think, of 2022, is it, possibly? Oh, there's a few flick by was there. Well, we got that. Uh, we got 53 new members signed up tonight, folks. Thank you so much. We will be back on Sunday, ladies and gentlemen. If you're a new member, make sure you subscribe and turn on that little notification bell for all on Big Jet TV so that you don't miss anything. And of course, if you miss that, uh, download the app um, uh, in the App Store, wherever you are, whether you're, um, um, whatever um, device you're using, uh, you can get Big Jet TV, the app, Big Jet TV Live, the app. And uh, of course, it's absolutely free. It uh, doesn't cost you anything, and there's no in-store, in-app in, in purchases or anything like that. Oh, that's pretty cool. What's going on beyond? Hey! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, wow, folks. I cannot thank you enough for your support. Um, we've done all of that now, haven't we? We've done it all. Uh, we've said thank you, and uh, here we go. We're flat out into a new year ladies and gentlemen and um, wow it's just still going on around me man it's insane um, but listen we got to go sometime we? Uh, yeah that was it um, ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for your uh, for your wonderful uh, time tonight uh, Medas 131 upgraded to first class Medas great to see you here thank you so much another Vincent Raymond is a new member welcome back folks welcome uh, welcome back um, uh, Lee's Aviation Liz Matthew thank you to everybody there's just far too many of you folks out there uh, to, to, to mention as you know and, and you appreciate that there are so many of you there thank you ladies and gentlemen uh, thank you once again to Jilly thank you to all our wonderful amazing members uh, here on Big Jet TV thank you for, uh, for, for joining us tonight and spending uh, tonight with us and uh, hello to all of my family and my friends uh, that I know out there in the wilderness um, you know uh, wherever you might be um, thank you and hello to everybody out there and uh, listen enjoy the rest of your time be responsible uh, get home safe wherever you are I'm going to jump in an Uber now and leave all my gear here and come pick it up tomorrow um, even though I've only had a couple of beers you've got to be safe haven't you um, so uh, look after yourselves ladies and gentlemen be good and we will see you on Sunday we'll let you know if you've got the app you will get a show notification as we do on all the channels as well. Thank you guys, uh, take care, <laughs> love you man, really, really love you. Uh, come here, come here. Uh, we'll see you later, take care folks. All the best, bye bye. Wow, 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 wow. What a show man, what a show. I'm worn out. Oh, goodness me. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I think we can. Yeah, yeah. We got the most intense part. Oh.